you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Long time ago, on year 737, on planet Vegeta, a very special boy was born and his name was Kakarot, the son of Bardock and Gine. Every Saiyan had a high and low power level at birth, but Kakarot was the only Saiyan with no power level. Bardock and Gine couldn't detect his power level and from there, they got very concerned and worried about Kakarot. They took him to the doctors and everything, but from there they weren't able to detect Goku's power level. They decided to label him with only one power level. King Vegeta found out about Goku's power level and that it is only at one and he was beyond embarrassed and he didn't want the rest to know that Goku's a Saiyan so he decided to go and exile Goku from planet Vegeta. Bardock didn't like that idea as he got back from his mission and from there he heard about Frieza coming to planet Vegeta. From there Bardock decided to go and take Kakarot and send him off to a planet called planet Earth as Gine was crying and she didn't want to send her son. Bardock said, we have no choice Gine, we have to do this for our son Kakarot. It is for his safety and Kakarot my son, please survive no matter what, if I live or not, please survive this my son, you must live on. If I survive this, I will come back to get you. Take care son. As Goku started to cry, Gine and Bardock had tears and from there, he sent Goku off towards planet Earth. From there, Gine started to cry a lot. Bardock went towards Frieza as he tried to go and stop him but he failed. Frieza went and threw a blast killing Bardock and the rest of planet Vegeta as the planet got destroyed while Goku was sent off towards planet Earth. After some time, Goku has now arrived on Earth as he landed and from there he began to cry a lot until a man arrived and saw a young boy crying and said, Hmm, what is this? Oh, a baby? Grandpa Gohan found him as he decided to go and call him Goku and raise him to be his own. Upon Goku's arrival, Kami sensed him as he said, My word, just what is a deity doing here on planet Earth? And at such a young age? Hmm, I must go and watch him from distant to see more about him. He's a very special one, I could sense it. For non-mortals, Goku's power level couldn't be sensed, but for deities, his power level at birth was over 1000. Goku was too much for Grandpa Gohan to take care as he was getting frustrated and he, Goku was getting stronger and stronger as the day went by. Master Roshi came to help Grandpa Gohan to raise Goku and from there he taught Goku some martial arts and he even taught him the Kamehameha wave. 12 years has passed since Goku first landed on earth. Goku has now grown up to be a 12 year old boy as he was living with Gohan peacefully and training with him too. One day, Boma came to his house as she wanted to get the Dragon Ball and from there Gohan told Goku to go with her so that Goku can go and explore the entire world. While searching for the Dragon Balls, they managed to go and meet with Yamcha as Boma realized that Yamcha was the man that she was looking for. And before anything, they have encountered with Amper Pilaf who managed to steal their Dragon Balls. From there, Goku went and he flew towards Pilaf as he went and decked him causing him to almost die and from there he stole his Dragon Balls and he came back. From there, Boma and Yamcha decided to start seeing each other as Goku took the rest of the Dragon Balls and he came back home with it as Goku has now met and had new friends in his life. Goku came back as he continued training and from there he met with the Ox King as he saw Chi Chi and they became friends. Master Roshi suggested Goku to go and try the World Martial Arts Tournament as he agreed to do so and from there, a young boy came to train with them and his name was Krillin as he was very interested in training with Master Roshi. Roshi decided to take Krillin as his pupil and from there, one year has passed as they all went and they attended the World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku went and he beat everyone as none of them stood a chance against him. Krillin got eliminated in the second round as the final battle was between Jackie Chung and Goku. Their battle began 
as Goku wasn't trying at all and from there he went and used his key pressure and he knocked him out of the arena. Goku won the tournament as everyone couldn't believe on how powerful he was. From there Goku came back home as he saw a man was trying to steal the Dragon Balls and once when he got back he found out that this man belongs to the Red Ribbon Army. Roshi and Gohan told Goku about them and how evil they are and from there Goku decided to go and put an end to the Red Ribbon Army. Goku went straight to their headquarters as he arrived and from there he went and attacked everyone using his key pressure knocking them all to the ground. None of them stood a chance against Goku as he single handedly disbanded the Red Ribbon Army. While Goku was doing all this, Kami saw everything that Goku was doing and he was very interested to know more about Goku. Goku came back as they were all relaxed and they all decided to go and train so that he can get even stronger because they all made plans to go and re-participate again inside the World Martial Arts Tournament. Another year has passed as they all came down to the World Martial Arts Tournament. Once when they got there, Goku has arrived as he displayed his new power and no one was able to beat him. His final opponent was Tian Shenhan as he came to fight Goku and from there he went and used his power against Goku but it didn't phase him. Tian said, this is weird. Why can I not sense this guy's power? Hmm? My power? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about but I can sense yours and you don't stand a chance against me. As Goku went and he rushed towards Tian and he managed to hit him really hard. Tian spat out blood as he was in pain and from there he went and used his domestic measures which was the tri-beam attack. He went and powered up the tri-beam as he threw it at Goku. From there Goku went and flew straight towards Tien tri-beam attack as it didn't phase him at all and from there he went and decked Tien really hard breaking his nose as he was bleeding a lot and from there he passed out as he lost the tournament and Goku has won it yet again. Tien decided to join Goku and his friends as Goku welcomed him and from there they were all celebrating. While they were celebrating, Goku left his Dragon Ball inside the tournament as Krillin went to get it but before he can get there, he encountered a demon named Tambourine as he went and he killed Krillin. Goku sensed Krillin's life force was gone as he rushed right back towards him and he got very emotional seeing that Krillin has died. From there he went and took the Dragon Radar and he tracked down to see where it was as the entire sky went dark and from there someone has summoned a Dragon Ball. It was no one other than King Piccolo. Piccolo used the Dragon Balls to wish himself to become young again. From there he went and he killed the dragon. Goku has now arrived to Piccolo's ship as he looked at him and he said, Hmm? What the hell? What is a boy doing here? Get lost shithead! I don't got time to waste on you dumbass! You killed Krillin! For that I'm going to kill you! Who? <laughs> you can't do nothing to me! I'm too powerful! I won't forgive you! As Goku went and he rushed at Piccolo and he decked him in the face. Piccolo's jaw broke as he was bleeding a lot and from there he got mad and he went and punched Goku with everything he's got but he saw it didn't phase Goku as he looked at him and said, What in the horse shit is this? How are you this strong? Goku went and he threw Piccolo in the air as he flew towards him and he punched him in his stomach as all of his guts poured out and from there Piccolo has died. But before dying he managed to spit out an egg and from there Piccolo has died. The news of Goku killing Piccolo has spread as Master Roshi and everyone couldn't believe that Goku was this powerful that he was able to kill Piccolo. From there a man came towards Goku as he said, Hello young warrior, my name is Mr. Popo. <laughs> Mr. Popo? What is that? That's a weird name. Please come with me, the Earth Guardian would like to see you as he wants to ask you something. Hmm? The Earth Guardian? Uh, okay. Goku decided to go with Mr. Popo and meet Kami. On their way towards the lookout, Goku went and he met with Korin. As Korin went and he introduced himself to Goku and from there he gave him a Senso Bean. Goku ate it as he recovered and from there he was very surprised with the Senso Bean. From there they all went and they went towards the lookout. Once when they got there, Goku saw Kami was standing there as he thought it was Piccolo but from there Mr. Popo told him that this was Kami. 
Ah, uh, it's a pleasure meeting you, young deity. Huh? Uh, Dia what? Hmm, I see. You don't even know what you are. Goku, you are very special. And I have been watching you your whole life until now. But it is time. The time has come for you to come and stay with me. I would like to train you a bit. And in return, I will resurrect your friend again with the Dragon Balls. As Kami went and he made Shenron and from there, he has resummoned Shenron again. He wished for Krillin to be brought back. As Goku agreed to stay with him and return, they started training. As 5 years has passed since Goku went and met with Kami and their training has begun. During that 5 years, Goku has learned a lot on how to get stronger and how to use his power more better. But from there, it was time for everyone to go and re-enter the World Martial Arts Tournament so that he can reunite with his friends. Once when they all got there, they all saw each other until Goku has arrived. Upon his arrival, everyone couldn't believe that it was Goku as they were all happy and emotional to see him and everyone was hugging one another. From there, they went and entered a tournament as Goku's first opponent was Tien and said, Goku, I've been waiting for this moment. I am going to win it this time. <laughs> we'll see about that, Tien. Let's do it. As their battle began, but it ended within two seconds as Goku went and he knocked him hard to the ground. From there, Goku went and he fought the next opponent which was Chi Chi. As she expressed her love to him, he asked her if she would marry him. Chi Chi said yes and everyone was very happy for Goku as the final match begun between Piccolo and Goku. As Piccolo came to fight and he told everyone that he was the reincarnated version of King Piccolo. Piccolo went and he started to attack Goku but Goku dodged all his attack like if there were nothing and from there he went and uppercut Piccolo in the face very hard causing him to be sent flying in the air. From there, Goku used his key pressure as he knocked Piccolo out and he puked out blood. No one couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was and how he was able to use his power to knock all his opponent very easily. But despite Goku's amazing power and strength, they still couldn't sense Goku's power level as they had no idea what his power was. Everyone was celebrating that Goku won the tournament as he went towards Piccolo and he gave him a sense bean and said, I would love to spar with you Piccolo. <clears throat> Leave me alone you shithead. As Piccolo flew away, everybody went to Ox King's palace as he hold a wedding ceremony for Goku and Chi Chi. Everyone attended and from there, five years has passed since Goku won the World Martial Arts Tournament yet again and he was married with Chi Chi. Within that five years, Goku managed to go and train every day as he kept getting a lot stronger while Chi Chi and him had a child and they named that child Gohan. Grandpa Gohan passed away due to old age and from there his legacy continued on Goku's son named Gohan. But Gohan was born very special since his father was not a mortal. Gohan was born with something called God Ki while he was still a mortal due to his mother. Goku wanted to go and train Gohan every day but Chi Chi wanted to do his homework and from there they both came in agreement that Gohan would train and do homework every day as he wanted to get Gohan a lot stronger. Boma and Yamcha has broken up as everyone was living their life in peace until one day. A space pod was making his way towards planet earth as it landed and from there a man came out and he used his scouter and said so this is the planet that father sent Kakarot to huh? Hmm, where are you Kakarot? Uh, there's a power level of 700. Hmm, I'm sure that's Kakarot. Looks like he managed to make himself stronger. Unlike before where his power level is only at 1. Wait, what? What the shit is this? Someone's over 4000! Who can it be? That's even more than me! <laughs> I must go check it out. As Raditz went and he flew towards the power level that was 700. Once when he got there, he saw a green man standing as it was Piccolo and from there, Piccolo looked at Raditz and told him to get lost, I don't have time to waste on you. <laughs> Someone's woke up on the wrong side of their bed, huh? Tell me, do you know where Kakarot is? Hmm? What the hell's a Kakarot? Raditz got mad as he went and he decked Piccolo very hard as Piccolo started to bleed and he passed out. From there, Raditz used his power level and he said, Ugh, 
How? How can Kakarot's parallel be 4000? If this guy's 700, that means this 4000 must be Kakarot. I must see. As he went towards the 4000. Meanwhile, Goku took Gohan to Master Roshi's house as they have all arrived there and they're having a mini party. Everyone saw Gohan as they were very happy to see how powerful he was and they couldn't believe that that was Goku's son. But at the same time, they were very confused on why Goku's power level couldn't be sensed. While they were enjoying their time in the party, Goku sensed a power level coming towards them as he said, hmm, this isn't good, what is this? Everybody sensed the power as they all got worried and from there, Raditz has arrived on Master Roshi's island. Everyone came out as they saw a man standing there with a tail and he said, Ah, oh, I finally found you, Kakarot. Huh? My name's Goku. Who are you? What? Kakarot, what's wrong with you? Tell me, what happened to your tail? M my tail? I removed it. As Raditz saw that Goku had no tail and he got very worried as he went and used a scouter to sense Goku's power level but it said zero. He got very confused and said, What the hell's going on, Kakarot? How come your power level says zero? I don't know, but I'll ask you this last time. Leave this planet and don't ever come here again and stop calling me Kakarot. My name's Goku, and if you don't leave, I'll force you to leave. Raditz got confused as he didn't know what to say. From there, Gohan came out as Raditz scouter went off the chart as he saw that Gohan was the one with the 4000 power level and he said this can't be how can a child be at this level it doesn't make any sense no way this thing must be broken look i told you leave huh kakarot you fool i'm your brother uh, my brother hmm. you are a saiyan race i came here to get you brother because we saiyan need your help to take down Frieza. Goku was very confused on what he heard as he didn't want to believe it but from there he refused to help Raditz. Raditz got very angry as he threatened to kill Gohan. Gohan was very scared as he got mad and from there he went and powered up and he decked Raditz so hard in the mouth as he started to bleed and he flew meters away. Raditz got up as he couldn't believe that Gohan was this strong and that he was barely breathing due to Gohan's impact that he did on him by punching him so hard. Goku was very amazed and shocked as he looked at Gohan and from there Gohan has passed out due to using his power. Raditz was badly hurt as he came towards Goku and he was about to kill Gohan but from there Goku went and came right in front of Raditz, grabbed him by his neck and he slammed him to the ground as Raditz puked out blood and he passed out. Before passing out, Raditz used whatever energy he has as he looked at Goku and he laughed and said, Vegeta will come and kill you for disobeying him. I don't care. Whoever this Vegeta person is, tell him if he has the balls, come here and fight me on Earth instead of being a coward and sending his henchman to attack me. Raditz passed out and from there, his scouter still worked as a communicator and from there, Vegeta heard everything as they were inside a remote planet and from there Nappa said, Vegeta, what are you going to do now? Let's go and help Raditz. <laughs> Hell no, I don't give a shit about him. What I do care is about that bastard Kakarot. He dare has the nerve to call me a puss? He said I'm a coward? Oh well, now I'm going to go to Earth and kill him. I'll show him who's a coward. Kami came to Goku as he was amazed with his power and said, My word. This is amazing! This is what happens when you fight a deity! Piccolo heard that as he was hovering over them and he watched everything and he said, What? You are a deity? Huh? I think so. <laughs> yes, he is. Why? Uh, it's, it's no wonder I couldn't beat you. You're a god, Goku. What? Me? A god? Goku, I want to put our differences aside and ask you, will they be able to train me? Uh, sure, but I'm confused. Hmm, Goku, it's simple. You're a Saiyan, according to this fellow, but at the same time, you are also a god. I guess that makes you a Saiyan god. What? As Goku and everyone heard, and they couldn't believe that their friend that they knew their entire life was a god. As they were very surprised and they were confused. 
While everyone was confused, Piccolo saw that Raditz wasn't dead as he went to kill him off but Goku said, No, don't! Huh? But Goku, he's the enemy! We need to dispose of him! No, Piccolo! If he says what he says he is, which is my brother, I still believe there's some good in him. People deserve a second chance. You were once the enemy, but now you're a friend. I believe he can be the same too. As Piccolo spared Raditz, and from there Goku gave Raditz a sense of being, and he recovered. Once when he got up, he looked at Goku and said, Kakarot, what is going on? How did you hit me so hard? You have no power level. Hmm, I suggest you show your brother some respect, young warrior. He is no ordinary Saiyan. He's a deity. What? Kakarot? A god? Hmm, look, Raditz. I want to believe there's good in you. Live here with us on planet Earth as a changed man. Raditz at first hesitated, but when he saw just how powerful Goku was, he then decided to go and accept Goku's offer, as he has now become one of the Z fighters. Raditz told Goku and everyone about Vegeta and how he will be coming to Earth with Nappa to kill everyone. But he wasn't worried. After seeing how strong Goku and Gohan are, Piccolo wanted to go and train with Goku along with Raditz as they all decided to go and get ready for Vegeta and Nappa to come. Gohan wanted to go and train with them too as they all decided to go and prepare themselves for the Saiyan to arrive. Goku took Raditz as he showed everyone that he is his brother and from there everyone welcomed Raditz to the gang and family as he was living with Goku and he was finally able to be a good brother towards Goku and a good uncle towards Gohan. As one year has passed since they all went and started training so they can prepare themselves for the Saiyan. While they were training, Tian decided to join Goku and the rest of the Z warriors to train with them as they all have gotten a lot stronger. Goku after training with his friends, he went to Boma's place as he asked Dr. Brief to make a special training room for him so he could train inside 1500 normal times gravity. Goku got a huge boost from training inside there and from there, one year has now officially passed as Vegeta and Nappa has now arrived on Earth. Their space pod landed and from there Nappa went and he started to kill people that are around him. Vegeta uses Scouter as they were trying to see where Goku and the rest of the Z warriors were. Once when they finally picked up some power level, they went and made their way towards them as the Z fighters made their way towards Vegeta and Nappa and they end up meeting each other halfway. Once when they saw each other, Raditz, Piccolo and Gohan were staring at them as Goku said, Look, I'll give you guys this one last chance. Leave this planet and don't ever come back or else you will be hurt. <laughs> Just who the hell do you think you are, Kakarot? Hmm, this shithead needs to be destroyed. I'll kill you, Kakarot. First, you're gonna have to go through me! Raditz, what the hell are you doing on their side? Do you want to die too? Hmm, looks like you're a full-blown traitor, Raditz. Well, it's time for you to die with the rest of you Earthlings. Huh, you wish, buddy. You can't touch us. Goku's on our side, and even if we do die by some America, we can all come back with the Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls, huh? <laughs> Sounds interesting. I'll take those too. Although I heard a myth about some herbs that's able to make any wish, I guess these Dragon Balls are that one, huh, Nappa? Well then, go force them to tell us where the Dragon Balls are. Nappa flew towards them, but Piccolo went and he charged at him as he started to kick Nappa really hard. Nappa was surprised as Raditz came and he powered up and he punched him hard in his stomach as he puked up blood and from there Piccolo and Raditz teamed up and they started to attack Nappa non-stop. Vegeta was surprised as he said, How did you get this strong? You should be worried about fighting me. Hmm? Kakura, leave or else you'll die. <laughs> I actually came here to kill you, Kakura. I heard your threat and here I am to fight you. As Vegeta and Goku stared at each other and their battle began, Piccolo, Gohan and Raditz teamed up on Nappa and thanks to Goku for training them, they all stood a chance against him as they have managed to go and increase their power big time thanks for training with a god like Goku. As they all went and they started to attack Nappa, Nappa used 100% of his power while Raditz went and he used 100% of his power along with Piccolo and they went and attacked him really hard. 
Gohan came as he went and uppercut Nappa and from there he decked him in the face really hard as he started to bleed a lot from his nose while Piccolo came with Raditz and they threw an attack at him. It hit Nappa head on as Gohan went and threw another attack and he passed out. Vegeta and Goku's battle began as Vegeta looked at him and said, I'll warn you Kakarot, I'll crush you you shithead, you don't stand a chance against me, my power level's high, how pathetic. You cannot even be sensed with your 1% power level. Hmm. <laughs> yeah right, keep dreaming buddy. We'll see who's the one that's going to win this battle. As Goku and Vegeta went and they flew to at each other. Both of their power crashed with one another. Vegeta went and he started to attack Goku non-stop. But Goku dodged all his attack and from there Vegeta went and powered up his fist. And he managed to punch Goku really hard. But it didn't phase Goku at all. As Goku looked at it and said, Is this all? Vegeta got mad as he went and he started to attack Goku recklessly. Goku got hit as he fell down but from there Vegeta came and threw an attack at him. Goku managed to disperse the attack as he looked at Vegeta and he said, You're very good, looks like I need to take you seriously. <laughs> what do you expect Kakarot, I'm the prince of all Saiyan. Goku went and he powered up as he said, Now it's my turn. Goku flew towards Vegeta as he punched him in his face really hard and from there Vegeta started to bleed. Goku went and punched him non-stop in his stomach causing Vegeta to puke out blood as he couldn't believe just how powerful Goku's punches were. Goku then went and kneed him in the stomach and threw him to the ground as Vegeta fell and he started to bleed even more. Vegeta was very angry to see that blood came out and he said, How dare you do this to me! Vegeta went and he powered up an enormous gallic gun and he went and threw it at Goku as he tried to kill him. Goku stood still as he smiled and said, Hmm, so you want to play? Fine, let's do it. Goku then went and powered up his own Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Vegeta's Gallic gun as both of their waves clashed with one another but Goku managed to overpower Vegeta and from there it went and hit him as it caused Vegeta to be sent flying out of space. Before Vegeta could hit out of space, he managed to get it moved away from the attack as he was in the air very damaged and he had no idea how strong Goku was and from there he decided to go and use his true power which was his great ape. Since Goku didn't have a tail, Vegeta thought he had the advantage as he came and he went and threw a blood wave. He has now transformed into his great ape. Goku was confused as he didn't know Saiyans can do this and from there Vegeta said, <laughs> What's wrong loser? You will now die by my hands. Die! Vegeta tried to attack Goku but he was moving too fast as Vegeta managed to hit him but from there he went and used his feet and he squashed Goku. But when Goku got up, he screamed as he went and picked up Vegeta's leg and he threw him to the ground. Vegeta looked at Goku as he saw Goku's aura. Now let's finish this once and for all. Vegeta didn't know just how powerful Goku was as he looked at him and he said, I'll crush you Kakarot, you don't stand a chance against me, a prince of all Saiyan, die! Vegeta hold on to Goku with his bare hand as he went and he started to squeeze the life out of him. But Goku went and he overpowered Vegeta as he opened his hand and from there he was free. From there he went and decked Vegeta in the face really hard as he flew a couple meters away. And from there Goku went and threw an attack at him and from there Vegeta fell to the ground. Goku saw it was his cue as he went right towards Vegeta and he pulled his tail off causing him to rip his tail and therefore Vegeta went right back to his original form. Vegeta was completely fatigued as he had trouble getting up and breathing and from there Goku looked at him and he said, It's done, I told you you didn't stand a chance against me. Goku went to power up an attack but Vegeta passed out as the rest of the Z fighters came to Goku and from there. They all celebrated their victory as they couldn't believe that they were able to beat Vegeta and Nappa. Goku decided to spare Vegeta and Nappa as he went to them and he gave them a sense of being and from there they woke up as Vegeta saw Goku and he said, Why don't you join us? 
and live on planet Earth. Knowing he didn't stand a chance against Goku even at his grade 8 form, Vegeta decided to join Goku with the attention that he will train and get stronger so he can kill Goku and destroy the Earth. As he said, mm, fine, whatever, but first there's a problem Kakarot. What happened? Frieza! That was the reason why Raditz came here in the first place. I need him to get you because we need to end Frieza. He's a bastard. Mm, I see, that makes sense. And is he powerful? He's very powerful, but after you, seeing how you fight, I believe you might have a chance. Just maybe. Wow, so he's that strong, huh? <clears throat> yes, he is. He's the one that killed all of us Saiyans. Yes, he even killed my parents. That's right, Kakarot. Frieza has also killed our parents too. Guys, there's a problem. Someone's talking to Scouter that I fixed of Raditz. As Vegeta took the scouter and he heard the conversation and got very stressed out. He then said, Kakarot, this isn't good. Frieza has gone to a planet called Planet Namek. He heard about the myth of them having Dragon Balls and therefore he wants to summon it so he can wish for immortality. Is that so? Well, if he's as evil as you say he is, I cannot allow him to live. Let's go to Planet Namek and end Frieza once and for all. Kami came as he told him that he has a spaceship and that they can take it and use it as it will get them to Planet Namek within 6 days. They all agreed to go as they went and used the spaceship and from there they set a course towards Planet Namek. Vegeta, Nappa, Raditz, Piccolo, Gohan, Boma and Goku including Krillin all of them went to Planet Namek. During their trip Vegeta asked Goku, tell me Kakarot why I can't sense your power? Hmm? Well, I think it's because I'm a god or something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a female. As uh, six days has passed, they have now arrived on Planet Namek. Upon their arrival, Goku came out of the ship as he sensed very powerful power level coming inside this planet and he said, Wow, there's so many power here in this planet. Hmm, the strongest one's right there. I'm guessing that's Frieza. He's strong. But I could sense there's about 5 other people with a huge power level too. What? No! That bastard called the Ginyu Force! Damn it! They saw a Namekian who almost died as Piccolo came to him and from there he told them that Frieza did this and that he has 5 Dragon Balls in his possession. From there he told Goku to go and see Guru as he has one of the Dragon Balls and he can guide him to help save Planet Namek. Goku, Piccolo and Gohan decided to go to Guru's place while everyone else would wait there for them to arrive back. Once when they got there, Guru saw them as he said, Oh my, I see, a deity has come to Planet Namek and nevertheless to my home. Come here son, as Goku came to him and he said, hmm, You're very special, I can see you came here to help us. I'll do whatever it takes to end Frieza and save this planet, but tell me, am I really a deity? Hmm, yes you are. You are what they call a Saiyan God. You're not a mortal. You are a deity and I can tell you have a bigger role in the future to come soon. Come here son, let me unlock your potential. Guru has now unlocked Goku's potential, as he had a huge boost to his power level and from there he said, Wow, I feel so amazing, this power, it's yours my son, all I did was just unlock it, I see your son also has some potential too, let me unlock his potential. Guru then went and unlocked Gohan's potential, from there he saw Piccolo as he looked at him and said, hmm, you could have been a lot more powerful if you came as your whole self, oh well, come here. Son, I'll unlock your potential and from there, I want you to fuse with him Nail. From there, Piccolo unlocked his potential and he even fused with Nail, giving him a huge boost to his power level. Once when that happened, from there, they all came back as Goku made plan that Piccolo, Gohan and the rest would go and finish off the Ginyu forces while Goku would go and fight Frieza. Before they can go, the Ginyu force has already arrived as Vegeta was trying to fight them off and from there Piccolo went and he charged at Raccoon as he punched him in the face really hard as he went and threw a blast to his stomach and all his guts came out as Raccoon has died right there. 
Vegeta went and he killed Goldo easily, while Gohan went and he charged at Birder. Birder tried to attack Gohan, but he was no match for him as Gohan went and he easily overpowered him and from there, he punched him really hard. Vegeta went and threw an attack at him as he died right there. Raditz and Nappa went and they're trying to fight with Jace, while Krillin and Bulma were off trying to find the remaining Dragon Balls. Gohan came to help his uncle and from there they all went and powered up an attack and they threw it at Jace as he died. From there, Captain Ginyu has arrived as Piccolo looked at him and he said to Goku, Goku, let me handle this one. He then went and charged at Captain Ginyu and they're going at it. Piccolo went and started to overpower him as he beat the shit out of Captain Ginyu and he was no match for Piccolo and from there, Ginyu saw that he had no option but to try to change bodies and take Piccolo's power. Goku saw what he was trying to do as he went and threw a frog towards him and therefore, Captain Ginyu has now switched bodies with a frog. They have all now beaten the Ginyu forces as they all went and made their way towards Frieza's spaceship. Frieza came out as he saw all the Saiyans were there and said, uh, How can you weaklings beat the Ginyu force? Hmm, so I take it you're Frieza, the one who is responsible for the horrible chain of event that occurred on this planet. <laughs> yes, that's me. I thought it would be a nice change of pace to destroy this planet, wouldn't you say? Hmm, how's this for a change of pace? It'll be me that'll defeat you! As Frieza got mad hearing that and from there he went and he charged at Goku. Goku dodged him very easily as he went and kneed Frieza in the stomach, causing him to puke out blood and from there he was in severe pain. Frieza couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was as he went and he transformed directly to his final form. Everyone got scared sensing Frieza's power level just seeing how much he has grown except for Goku as he smiled and he said, is that all Frieza? I would hate to end you before you can even put up a good fight. Hmm, what was that you monkey? <laughs> I don't blame you, after all, you got nothing but monkey. Frieza went and he charged at Goku, but Goku dodged all of his attacks. Frieza got very frustrated and desperate as he wanted to hit Goku with everything he's got and from there he went and he threw an attack at him, but Goku went and dispersed the attack. Frieza then realized that he didn't stand a chance against Goku as he went and powered up another attack and he tried to destroy Planet Namek as he said, It was fun while it lasted monkey, but now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye to Namek! As Frieza went and he threw the attack towards Planet Namek, Goku saw as he rushed towards the attack and from there he went and he threw his own attack back and from there it hit Frieza. But Frieza managed to go and disperse the attack as Goku came right in front of him and he said, Leave this planet out of this! It's between you and me, Frieza! Everyone couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was. And Frieza got mad and said, I'm trying to kill you, bastard! I don't care about dirty or not! But you! You dropped your guard! As Frieza went and he used his finger beam attack as he was trying to aim for Raditz. Goku saw that as he went and he used 100% of his power to go towards it, but it was too late as the attack went and it hit Raditz right in his heart. From there, Raditz puked out blood as he was in severe pain and he died right in front of Goku. Goku got very mad while Frieza was laughing and he said, Frieza! How dare you attack my brother! For that, I'm going to kill you! As Goku went and he started to lose it. as he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan Rose. This transformation was one of a transformation that no one has ever seen. A Super Saiyan Rose color where Vegeta looked and said, What the hell? K Kakarot, what is this? Is this a Super Saiyan? Why is it pink? This power is enormously high, although I can't sense it, but I can feel the pressure. I'm feeling scared. No! Is it true, Kakarot? Is he really some god? But why him? I'm the Prince of All Saiyan! I should be the one, not this bastard! Everyone saw as they were complete shock to see Goku's new 
Super Saiyan Rose power and they couldn't believe just what power he was wielding. From there, he looked at Frieza and he said, hmm, well it's time to put an end to this, what'd you say Frieza? Goku went and he charged at him as he used his key pressure and it cut Frieza in the skin, causing him to bleed a lot. Frieza went and he used 100% of his power, but Goku was only using 2% as he went and decked him really hard, causing Frieza to break his neck and from there Goku went and threw a blast at Frieza, causing him to go and be sent out of space. Everyone couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was and that they couldn't sense Frieza's power level and they all assumed that Frieza has died as they all ran towards Goku to celebrate. Vegeta was angry and he said, Curse you Kakarot! I will surprise you one day! <laughs> sure buddy, go for it! Thanks to Goku's new Super Saiyan Rose power, he managed to go and save the day as he easily defeated Frieza without even trying. They have now managed to save everyone as Goku asked Kami to use the Earth Dragon Balls and wish back all the Namekians that died on planet Namek. Kami did that as everyone came back that Frieza has killed and from there, Goku went and used the Namekian Dragon Balls as Dende went and made a wish for him and that was to restore Raditz back to alive. Raditz came back as he was very happy to see Goku and everyone and Goku smiled and said, Welcome back brother, I was happy to see you. Hmm, son, I have a request. Huh? Yes, what's up Guru? Why don't you go to a planet called Planet Yadrid? Hmm, use the Dragon Balls right now and ask to be wished towards that planet. They are expecting you as we speak. I set up something for you over there. Oh, that's um, awesome! Okay, sure, why not? As Dende went and he used the Dragon Balls and he wished for Goku to be transferred towards Planet Namek. As Goku said his goodbye and said, I'll see you guys very soon, bye! And Goku has now left. From there, Vegeta Boma has feelings for each other as she offered him to come live with her at her place along with Nappa and they all agreed as everyone said their goodbyes and they all made their way back towards planet earth. While all that was happening, in middle of nowhere inside space, Frieza's father King Cold spotted where Frieza was and therefore he went and caught Frieza and he put him in the healing chamber. Once when Frieza recovered he said, father, set a course to earth in about 1.5 years from now. Hmm. Why wait that long son? Why not go there now? That monkey Goku is too strong! He killed me easily! But thanks to our genes father, if I go and train, I can get stronger and therefore I can kill him myself. All I gotta do is train. There's no telling what I'll be able to accomplish. As Frieza went and he started to train for 1.5 years, Goku has now arrived on planet Yadrit. As one of the Yadrins came towards him and he said, Ah, oh, so you must be son Goku. We have been expecting you young deity. Huh? You know me? Hmm, first thing is first, let's get you out of those clothes. You need to be wearing our sacred clothes if you're living in planet Yadrin. And if you're training with us, he's not gonna train you unless you wear these clothes. What? Training? You mean I'm going to train here? Yes Goku, you are going to learn some new technique from the Grand Elder. As Goku went and he met him and from there his training begun. He spent almost 9 months training at Planet Yadrin as he managed to learn couple new techniques and he even managed to go and control his ki very fast. From there Goku said his goodbyes as he said thank you so much for training me, I'll never forget you guys. It's our pleasure Goku and please, you're always welcome to come back here anytime. Before going, Goku heard a voice in his head as the voice said, Ah uh, hey, Goku, hmm? why don't you come over to my planet? I'd like to show you something, it'll be very useful. Huh? Who are you and how can I hear you and where are you? Just sense my power as Goku did and from there he went and he instant transmission and he arrived in a very strange planet known as King Kai's planet. From there King Kai came towards him and he said, Hi, I'm King Kai, I'm a deity just like you. Oh really, <laughs> that's cool, 
Yes, I'm a Kai. And after that, there's something called the Grand Kai. And then there is a something called the Supreme Kai. And then you go on to the Destroyers and Angel. But you, Goku, you are what they call a Saiyan deity. And I would love to teach you two techniques. It's called the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. I see you managed to learn the instant transmission from Planet Yadrit. Yes, they were very nice to teach me these two techniques, the instant transmission and also controlling your key. They have also taught me something called how to heal yourself, but it requires a lot of power, they said. But because I'm a deity, I'm able to do it. But that's still a little tricky. I'm having trouble mastering that. Hmm, I see. That's very great then. Let the training begin. Awesome! As Goku went and he spent six months training inside King Kai's world. After six months, Goku was able to use the Kaioken and even the Spirit Bomb. And King Kai said, hmm, Since you're a deity like us, Goku, you have a gift to use the Kaioken as long as you want. That is until your key runs out. And it won't hurt your body. Goku was very happy. But all of a sudden, he felt a very high power level approaching planet Earth. As he sensed it and he saw it was Frieza. And he said, No, this is not good. It's a Frieza. But how did he get this strong? <laughs> it's incredible. I can't wait to fight him. Goku, be careful! As Goku said his goodbyes, and from there he went, and he instant transmission towards planet Earth. Before he did that, Frieza has arrived, as a Z fighter sensed his scary power level, and from there they all made their way towards Frieza. Once when they got there, they then got very scared sensing Frieza, as Frieza came out and he laughed, and from there he went and transformed to his final form. Vegeta powered up as he went and he charged at Frieza, but Frieza went and dodged his attack and from there he went and kneed Vegeta in the face really hard. Raditz and Nappa came and charged towards him as they went and tried to attack Frieza, but he went and caught their fists and said, hmm, You guys are nothing but weaklings. Oh well, where the hell is Goku? And he threw them to the ground. Piccolo and Gohan went as they charged at Frieza, but Frieza went and used his key pressure as it hit him really hard and both of them fell to the ground. Frieza's father King Cold came out as he laughed and he said, Frieza, just kill them already before anything can happen. Before anything can happen, Frieza got kicked in the face really hard as he looked up and he saw it was Goku. As Frieza started to bleed from his mouth, Goku looked at Frieza as everyone was very happy to see him and that they didn't see Goku after for almost one and a half year. Frieza looked at Goku and said, hmm, Looks like the monkey has finally come. I see you still haven't gone over your evil ways, huh, Frieza? <laughs> Shut up, you punk. I've been training for over a year, and now I'm ready to kill you, monkey. Yeah, I can tell you have got a lot stronger, Frieza. But yet again, so have I. As Frieza and Goku stared at each other, and from there, he charged at him. As he went and he tried to attack Goku, but Goku dodged all of his attack. And from there he went and he punched Frieza in the guts really hard. Frieza was in pain as he couldn't believe how powerful Goku was. And from there, they were fighting. Vegeta and the rest of the Z fighters went towards King Cold. And they all attacked him as they managed to go and kill him. Frieza saw that as he didn't really care. And from there he went and he showed his true power to Goku. As he went and transformed to his golden form. Goku was amazed as Frieza rushed towards Goku and he began to kick his ass. Goku was being overpowered by Frieza as Goku went and he threw a Kamehameha wave at him but Frieza went and dispersed it and from there he went and threw Goku to the ground. Goku was really amazed with Frieza's new power as he said, hmm, You're amazing Frieza. I wish we could have been friends. I would love to spar with you every day. Oh well, let's go all out. Goku has now transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose. Frieza looked at him and said, Hmm, 
This is the form I hate the most! I can't wait to kill you! They both stared at each other as the battle began. Both of them rushed at each other as both of the power clashed with one another. From there, Goku started to attack him non-stop. Frieza brushed him off as he went and he kneed Goku, but Goku caught it as he went and punched him really hard in the face and he flew meters away. Everyone was very amazed to see just how amazing this intense battle was going as Frieza went and he tried to attack Goku, but Goku showed to be a lot superior compared to Frieza. Frieza got very angry and annoyed as he powered up to full and he rushed at Goku and he started to hit him non-stop. Goku stood still as Frieza charged at him and he punched him in his face really hard as Goku started to bleed from his mouth. Hmm, you're pathetic! Let me use 100% of my power! As he went and he used his true power and he started to beat Goku up. Goku stood still as he let Frieza hit him and from there he didn't flinch. Frieza was scared as he noticed that, what the hell? Why aren't you dodging my attack? It makes no sense! That's because, Frieza, your attack don't phase me. What? Yeah, no kidding. I could stand here all day and you could punch me, but I'll hardly bleed. Your power aren't strong enough, Frieza. What the hell is this supposed to mean? Hmm, let me guess. After achieving this 100% power of yours, you came straight here to fight me, but you missed the point. This is how it was hurting your mortal body because this new power was draining you very fast. While for me, I can go and use as much power, but my body won't feel any strain because I'm a deity. Goku went and he punched him very hard. Frieza was being sent flying meters away as he hit the ground really hard and from there Goku flew right in front of him and he started to beat the shit out of Frieza as Frieza couldn't hit him back. How are you this strong? What do you think? I was just sitting around watching Goku T23 on YouTube? No, I have been going to some intense training myself, Frieza. And to be honest with you, I didn't even use my full power. And also, after all the hits you hit me, I managed to heal myself with the new healing technique I learned from the Yadrin. And each time I heal from a battle wound, my Zenkai gets a lot stronger. Damn it! There's no beating this monkey! Always ahead of me! It's time for you to die once and for all, Frieza. I spared you on Planet Namek, but now you blew your second chance. Goku was about to kill Frieza as Frieza looked at him and he said, Wait! Let me join you! I want to join you guys! Let me be part of your guys' crew! And we can help fight other! I'll change my ways! Goku was completely shocked as he couldn't believe what he heard and from there he smiled. As he went and he telepathically talked to Piccolo, he told Piccolo to go and get the Dragon Balls and from there Piccolo went and did that. Once when he did, Piccolo then asked Goku what was his wish and from there Goku told him to wish for Frieza to be a pure hearted man. What? Really? You want to use that towards him? Yes, please. Make him a pure hearted man. If he wants to join the Z fighters, let him join, but we have to make sure he's pure. Oh well, I learned not to question you Goku. After all, I'm just a mortal, what would I know? As Piccolo went and he used Shenron and from there he made that wish to make Frieza a pure hearted man. Frieza was waiting for Goku to drop his guard so he can kill him but from there once when the wish was made Frieza looked at Goku as he felt the change and he smiled and he said I'll do everything I can with my heart blood and soul to protect this planet and Goku I would love to be friends with you please can we be friends let's protect this universe together. What? Frieza? Ugh! I cannot picture this shit! <laughs> sure Frieza, welcome to the club buddy! As they shook each other's hand and from there Goku told the Z fighters about Frieza and how he became a pure hearted man with the Dragon Balls. Frieza has now become one of the Z fighters as he looked at Goku and he said, Goku, I would love it if we train together and get a lot stronger. You and me should go on a training spree, what do you say Goku? That way we can protect Earth and get stronger together. And from there, no one can mess with us. Uh, it's so weird, seeing Frieza so pure and soft. <laughs> Tell me about it, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> I love it, yes Frieza, let's do it. We can train together and get a lot stronger. <laughs> Goku, I want to also train with you guys too. Me too daddy. Uh, no way in hell would I train with Kakarot, but he's a god, or some type of god, 
and training with a god, and even Frieza would make me a lot stronger. That way I can overtake all of them and become the strongest. Hmm, Kakarot, I want to train with you too. I also want to get stronger. <laughs> sure, Vegeta, let's do it. I've been waiting for you to ask. I'm very excited. Let's go. You, me, Frieza, Gohan, and Piccolo. All of us can go and train together and become a lot stronger. As they all agree to go and train together, and from there, three years has passed since Goku and everyone began their training. From there, everyone has got a lot stronger, as they were all relaxing, and from there, two androids came towards West City, as they went and they started to blow up a lot of people and the city itself. Goku and everyone sensed it, as they went towards the city and they saw fire. Once when they got there, they then saw two androids standing there, as they saw Goku and the rest of the Z fighters and they said, Ah, so if it isn't Goku, we've been expecting you for some time now. Who are you? How do you know me? Hmm, you can call us the androids. We were created for the sole purpose on killing you, Goku, since you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. What? You mean you guys been holding a grunge ever since? Yes, and now... It is time to die. We have studied all of your moves. Each and every one of your battles that you took place with all these fighters that are next to you, including your DNA and cell. All of them has been planted and we also have a trump card that is coming very soon to make sure you all die. Hmm, tell me one thing. Did you guys watch Goku train for the last three years? No, we only saw you train for one year and from there, I have gathered enough info I needed to make my androids complete. Hmm, <laughs> you stupid foolish old man. You have heavily underestimated us and for that you're going to pay. Goku here is the strongest. Why don't you show them your power, Goku? It will be my pleasure. <laughs> From there, Vegeta has arrived as he said, Kakarot, this will be mine to handle. Hmm, sure buddy, go for it. After training with Goku for 3 years, having a god teach you how to fight, Vegeta was able to go and get god key as he went and transformed to a super saiyan god. From there he went and he rushed at android 19 as their battle began. Android 19 went and he tried to attack Vegeta, but Vegeta went and he started to beat the shit out of him non-stop. Before anything can happen, Vegeta then went and powered up a big bang attack and he killed Android 19 like it was nothing. While Vegeta was fighting Android 19, two other androids has now arrived to the battlefield. Frieza went and he began to choke Dr. Jiro as he went and he blasted him in his stomach and all of his guts poured out along with some machine and he died right there. Goku saw the other two androids as they landed and they said, Hmm, so looks like we found Goku. <laughs> You're right, 17. Piccolo saw that. As he said, GUYS, THESE GUYS ARE ANDROIDS! Hmm, you can call me 17, this is 18, we are here to kill the rest of you guys. Hmm, <laughs> keep dreaming buddy, I'll be the one to kill you! As Vegeta went and he rushed at Android 17, but Android 17 went and caught his fist as he punched Vegeta in the face fairly hard. Vegeta started to bleed from his nose. Piccolo and Frieza went and they charged at him while Goku went and he fought with Android 18. Android 18 tried hard to hold Goku off, but Goku was too much for her as he went and he kicked her in her stomach and she flew meters away. 18 got mad as she got up. Frieza went and he decked 17 in the face really hard as he went and attacked him non-stop, but from there 17 went and hold on to Frieza as he punched him in the stomach and he went and took Piccolo's face and he smashed it in the ground. Android 18 got up as she came right next to 17 and from there both of them powered up as they charged at Goku. 
Goku went and he used 80% of his power with his Super Saiyan Rose. As he was holding him off, they couldn't touch him. They were very confused on how Goku is this powerful because their database had everyone's fighting style. They had Piccolo, Frieza, Vegeta, Goku. So how was Goku this powerful? From there, 17 went and he powered up attack as Android 18 came to aid him and they threw it at Goku. Goku stood still as the blast came towards him. He went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at the blast as their blast got dispersed and they got hit by Goku's Kamehameha wave. Both of them fell hard to the ground, but before anything can happen, out of nowhere, someone has now arrived to the battlefield as he went and he used his solar flare and he managed to blind everyone that was there. The androids couldn't see nothing, but he came and went and absorbed Android 17 and 18 as he screamed and he has now transformed to his perfect form. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, finally, after all the struggling, all the waiting, I can finally say, I am perfect. As a smoke cleared and everyone felt a very huge power up come out of nowhere and they saw Cell standing right in front of them. Goku sensed and he said, this isn't good, his power senses are the same as mine, does that mean he's not immortal? Hmm, that's correct, Goku. It is a pleasure meeting you. But I am the Android God, and now it's time to kill all of you. Thanks to your DNA, Mr. Deity. <laughs> I have now become the same as you. In other words, you can say, Goku, you and I are brothers. Nappa and Raditz had now arrived to the battlefield as they sense all the power up coming and from there they saw Cell standing there as he was inside his perfect form. Thanks to Dr. Jiro collecting a DNA sample of Goku, Vegeta, Frieza and all the other fighters, Cell was his trump card as Jiro had no knowledge about Goku being a deity but with Goku's DNA, he gave Cell the power to become a god like Goku too. Vegeta got very angry as he looked at Cell and he said, I don't give a shit what you say you are, I'm still going to kill you Cell. Hmm, is that so? Then bring it on Prince Vegeta. Hmm, I have to agree with Vegeta, I am going to tear you apart. Hmm, Frieza, I must thank you, because of your Cell and even yours Vegeta, I have the power of all of you guys. Cell went and he used his full power. As he said, so who wants to die first? This power, it's enormously high. Am I scared of him? Well, we can't stand around and do nothing. We have to go and fight. Gohan went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God. Nappa and Raditz came as they both went and transformed to Super Saiyan. From there, Vegeta came to his senses as he went and he used his full power of his Super Saiyan God and they all charged at Cell. Cell went and he dodged all of them. As he went and he started to beat the shit out of all of them that were there. They all tried to work as a team to attack Cell, but neither of them could have touched Cell. They kept attacking Cell while he was dodging all of their attacks. From there, Cell decided to go and become offensive mode. As he went and he decked Raditz really hard in the face, causing him to break his nose. From there, he began to bleed a lot. Cell went and he kicked Nappa in the gut as he spat out blood and he charged at Vegeta. He then went and took Vegeta's face and he smashed it to the ground as Vegeta started to bleed and he started to use Vegeta as a punching bag. Piccolo and Gohan both came and they charged at Cell but he went and he punched Piccolo in the stomach really hard as no one stood a chance against Cell. Cell then saw Gohan as he went to go and kill Gohan but out of nowhere Goku came right in front of him as he went and uppercut Cell in the face really hard causing him to be sent flying in the air. He then looked at Goku as Goku looked at him with anger and he said, You'll be fighting me now, Cell. Hmm, don't forget about me, Goku. As Frieza went and he transformed to his golden form. As he looked at Goku and he said, I'm here to help you guys. Let's kill this tyrant together. Hmm. Alright, Frieza. Sounds good. I got your back, Goku. Let's work together and end him together. As Goku and Frieza went and they charged at Cell. 
Cell was trying to hold his own as Frieza went and he kneed him in the stomach really hard. Goku came and he punched him as he went and caught Goku's hand and from there he kicked Frieza in the stomach as Frieza started to bleed and he went and started to punch Goku. Goku went and he powered up an attack as Cell managed to disperse it but from there Goku came right in front of him as he used his Kaioken and he knocked Cell hard to the ground causing his arm to break off. Cell was in pain as Frieza came right next to Goku and they both powered up and they charged towards Cell. They managed to go and beat the shit out of Cell but when the smoke cleared they saw that Cell went and he regenerated thanks to Piccolo Cell and he began to laugh and said, <laughs> You guys are so pathetic. This is all you guys have. My new god form makes me unbelievably strong. None of you guys can touch me. Now, allow me to stop toying with you guys and use my full power. Cell went and he powered up to his 100% as his entire body began to glow. From there, he went and he rushed at Frieza as he started to beat the shit out of him. Frieza couldn't attack him as his golden power was nothing compared to Cell's new god form. Frieza tried his best to attack Cell but from there he went and he knocked Frieza to the ground really hard. Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 20 mixed with his Super Saiyan Rose as he went and he kicked Cell in the face really hard but from there Cell went and he punched him back as both of them were going at it. Cell was overpowering Goku's Kaioken times 20 as he went and he punched him really hard in his stomach and he threw Goku to the ground. Goku got up but Cell came right in front of him as he went and he started to non-stop attack Goku. Goku was in pain as he was getting beat up by Cell and from there he went and kicked Goku hard in the stomach as he spat out blood. Cell began to power up a huge Kamehameha wave as he said, It's time to kill you guys once and for all. Die! And he threw the large Kamehameha wave towards Goku and planet Earth. Goku got worried as he was about to go and counter it but Frieza flew right towards the wave as he used his body as a shield and he said, Goku, farewell. This is where our friendship comes to an end. I'm happy I was able to save my planet. From there, Frieza managed to disperse the Kamehameha wave as it went and it killed him, causing his entire body to blow up. Frieza has saved the earth by giving up his own life as Goku got very upset and from there, Cell went and he powered up another Kamehameha wave. Goku got very mad as he said, Frieza, no, I promise I'll bring you back with the Dragon Balls. Because of my weakness, I was not able to save your life. I'm sorry, Frieza, but now I'll use my full power from the start. Cell, you're done! Hmm? What are you yapping about, Goku? Goku went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2 Rose. As he looked at Cell and he said, It's over, Cell. <gasps> what? What is this? You're finished, Cell. I'm going to kill you. You want to see who's stronger? Let's see who's stronger. A Saiyan God or a Android God? Cell couldn't believe what Goku has transformed himself into along with the Z Fighters as they both were very surprised and from there Cell said, <laughs> You caught me off guard Goku, this new transformation is really impressive but it still won't save you. You're right, this is a battle between a Saiyan God and a Saiyan Android, let's do this! From there Goku went and he charged at Cell, as he went and he decked him in his face really hard. Cell started to bleed as he couldn't believe just how powerful Goku's head was. And from there he went and he charged at Goku as he started to attack him very recklessly. But Goku blocked all of his attack as Cell was too slow for him. And from there he went and he used his key pressure as it pushed Cell away. Cell got very mad as he went and he threw every attack that he knew as it all went and hit Goku but it didn't phase him. From there Cell went and he powered up a very large destructor disc strong enough to actually cut Earth in half. As he went and he threw it at Goku, but Goku went and he caught it with his bare hand and he dispersed of it as Cell got extremely worried and scared along with the rest of the Z fighters as they couldn't believe just what Goku was doing.
from there he went and he powered up a enormous Kamehameha wave as it was very large enough to destroy the entire galaxy and he went and threw it at Goku. Goku went straight into the Kamehameha wave as he was walking through it and Cell got extremely scared and said, uh, you're, a, you're a monster! You're not a Saiyan! And from there, Goku has appeared right in front of Cell as his Super Saiyan 2 Rose power was too fast for Cell to comprehend. From there he went and he punched Cell in the gut very hard. Cell couldn't hold the pain and from there he went and he threw up Android 17 and 18. Due to the power of Goku's punch, it caused him to lose both Android that he managed to go and absorb. Goku walked towards him as he said, it's time for you to die. He went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Cell as it destroyed his entire body along with all his Cell and from there Cell has died. Goku managed to go and win the battle as he hardly went and broke his sweat to beat Cell and he proved that his Super Saiyan 2 Rose power was too much for this android to handle. Everyone was very happy that Goku beat Cell as Goku went and he used the Dragon Balls that they collected and from there they summoned Shenron. They then went and they wished back for Frieza to come back alive along with everyone that died by Cell. From there Frieza came as he was very happy to see everyone and he said, I had faith that you'll win this battle for us Goku. Thank you for bringing me back. <laughs> Thank you Frieza. Thanks for giving up your life to protect Earth. But I promise I'm not gonna let you die again. I will use my power to protect all of you guys. As everyone's really happy. And from there they all decided to go to Boma's house and they started to hold a huge party to celebrate their victory. While they're all enjoying and eating the food, Frieza, Vegeta, Gohan and Goku decide to go and get stronger together as two years has passed since Goku killed Cell. Goku was training with everyone every day as he left them and he went to King Kai's planet and he began his training as he was able to make his sense a lot sharper and therefore he was able to focus higher key pressure that was happening around the entire universe 7. Goku has just finished his training as he went and before leaving back to earth he then went and focused as he tried to sense the power of everyone but from there Goku sensed a very large power that was coming far end of the cauldron and from there he got very surprised to sense this power as he said what the what did I just sense huh what happened Goku there's someone very powerful coming far in from this east hmm let me see Goku it's coming from a planet called planet Vampa hmm this is very strange, call me crazy, but this power feels like a Saiyan. I must go check it out, but before I do, I'm gonna go and get Vegeta and Frieza to come and check this power out with me. From there, Goku went and he used his instant transmission as he went to Earth and he told Vegeta and Frieza about the power level. And from there, they all decided to go with Goku and he instant transmissioned him towards a planet called Planet Vampa. Once when they got there, everyone was looking around as he couldn't believe where they were and from there Frieza said, Hmm, I sense a very high battle power coming far in from there Goku. Let's go check it out. Once when they got there, they saw two Saiyans standing there as it was Paragus and Broly. From there, Paragus saw Frieza as he got very nervous and scared since he knew about Frieza but from there, Frieza looked at him and he said, Wow, I can sense a very high battle power coming from you. Oh, uh, Lord Frieza, what are you doing here? And who are those people? Hmm? Please don't call me Lord, I'm just Frieza. And they're my friends. We came here to check out this high power level that's coming from this planet and meet our leader. He is Goku. He's also the strongest one in this universe, you can say. Hi, I'm Goku. And I want to say, your power is very high. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh pledges all mine Goku and that power level that you're sensing is coming from my son Broly he's the one with the high power level everything was going very good until Vegeta arrived right next to them and from there Paragus saw him as he got very mad and he said what what the hell what is this shithead doing here why are you here huh he's with us his name is Vegeta I know who you are Vegeta you're going to pay for your father's arrogance Hmm? Shut the hell up, you bastard! What are you babbling about? <sighs> Broly! Attacked him! He's the one who's going to try to kill me! Broly heard that 
as he got very mad seeing Vegeta and from there he went and he powered up as he charged towards Vegeta. Frieza and Goku saw that as they were very amazed on seeing how powerful Broly was. Frieza got mad with Paragus as he went and he decked him in the stomach very hard. But then they saw Broly was screaming. Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God as he started to go and beat the shit out of Broly. As Broly didn't stand a chance against Vegeta's Super Saiyan God power but Vegeta saw that Broly was adapting to his power as he was getting used to it and from there Broly went and he used his Uzaru Rat form as he was getting stronger and he was able to match Vegeta's Super Saiyan God power as he started to go and overpower him. Goku was very interested in fighting with Broly as he was watching the battle and from there Paragus saw that he dropped his guard as he went and he tried to kill Goku but Frieza caught his hand as he ripped it out and blood spurred everywhere and from there he said how dare you try to kill Goku I'll end you for that you shithead Frieza went and he decked Paragus in the face really hard as he threw a blast at him and from there Paragus had died right there. Out of nowhere a creature came and it ate Paragus body as it swallowed up and from there he went and he spat Paragus head out while Broly was fighting Vegeta. He then saw Paragus head as it was bleeding a lot and from there he got very emotional as he went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his Super Saiyan. As he went and he easily knocked Vegeta out by punching in the face really hard. Vegeta spat out blood as he passed out and from there Frieza went and he used his golden power. As he went and he rushed towards Broly and he started to attack him. Broly was being attacked by Frieza but Frieza saw that Broly was keep getting stronger and stronger. As he went and he started to attack Frieza back and both of them were going at it. Broly then began to squeeze Frieza's neck as he went and threw him to the ground and he was choking him hard and from there he heard Goku say Hey you! <laughs> Come and fight me Broly! Let's see who's stronger! As Broly went and he rushed at Goku leaving Frieza to the ground. <laughs> Goku went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose as he went and he had Broly and from there their power clashed with one another. Frieza came to help as he went and he kneed Broly in the stomach really hard while Goku went and he punched him in his face causing him to spit out blood and from there Broly saw that he was being overpowered as he went and he tried to attack him but Frieza and Goku were too much for him as they both went and they started to beat the shit out of Broly. Broly then got very mad as he went and he screamed. <laughs> Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and he rushed at Frieza and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku went and he kneed him in his face but it didn't phase Broly at all as Broly was keep getting stronger and stronger. They all got very confused on seeing just how powerful Broly was as Vegeta got up and said I think I know who he is Kakarot he's the legendary Super Saiyan I can tell by his power. Hmm, you're right, his power seemed a little off Vegeta, looks like we gotta all work together. Vegeta came and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God as Goku, Vegeta and Frieza went full power and they started to attack Broly non-stop. But Broly was holding his own as he was proving to be a lot stronger than all of them. From there Broly went and he elbowed Vegeta in the neck really hard and from there he went and grabbed Frieza and he started to punch him like a punching bag as Frieza was getting his ass beat by Broly. But from there Broly went and threw him in the air. Frieza looked at him as he was very impressed and he said no doubt you're back.
battle power is very astonishing! Brawly went and he threw an eraser cannon at Frieza as it hit him and from there he fell to the ground. Goku looked at Brawly and he said, hmm, You're very impressive Brawly, I must say, I have to use my full power. Vegeta came as he flew towards Brawly but from there Brawly went and he decked him hard in his forehead as Vegeta passed out and he couldn't move. Brawly rushed at Goku as Goku used his Kaioken but Brawly managed to go break through it and start to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku then went and he separated himself from Brawly as he went and he screamed. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 Rose. As he went and he punched Brawly in the face really hard and Brawly puked out blood. Frieza looked at Goku and said, Goku, end this! Don't worry Frieza, I'll deal with him now. I, I would love to make you my sparring partner Brawly, but you're just out of control. Brawly flew towards Goku and from there their power clashed with one another as they're going at it. Goku went and he need Brawly while Brawly went and he punched him and they were equally tied. Goku was very impressed and he said, For a mortal, you're beyond impressive. I can't believe it. I'm using my full power even as a Super Saiyan 2 Rose, but you managed to hold your own against me. Oh well Brawly, let's kick it up. Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 10 fusing with his Super Saiyan 2 Rose as he went and he hit Brawly really hard and Brawly started to choke a lot as he couldn't breathe. Brawly went and tried to attack Goku but it didn't phase him as Goku was not phased by Brawly's attack and from there he went and he punched him in his stomach really hard and he started to beat the shit out of Brawly as Brawly puked out blood and he couldn't attack Goku. From there Goku went and he grabbed his face and he smashed it to the ground as Brawly fell and from there he passed out. Goku has won the battle as he went towards Brawly and he said, I would love to make you my fighting partner, join me Brawly. As Goku went and he gave Brawly a Senso Bean, Brawly ate it and from there he woke up as he saw Vegeta, Frieza and Goku were standing right next to him. Goku offered him truce and to join planet earth and live with them as Brawly agreed and from there he has now become one of the Z fighters. As he went and he shook Goku's hand and they became friends from there. Goku went and he instant transitioned him back to planet earth as he was very curious to see what earth looked like and he had no idea about the beautiful bounties that earth had. The Z fighters had gained another fighter all thanks to Goku. Goku, Frieza, Vegeta, Gohan and Brawly all decide to go and train together so that they can get a lot stronger and push themselves to their absolute limit. Brawly really enjoyed earth as Frieza and Goku went and showed him all the earth's bounty and everything and he enjoyed all the best cuisine that earth can possibly provide. Broly was the second strongest in the Z fighter after Goku. Everyone was very motivated as Gohan kept training and he kept getting stronger and stronger and from there 5 years has passed as everyone was living in peace. Gohan was now all grown up as he kept up his training and he also went to school and he did everything he can so that he can be able to fight alongside with his father and have a good grades. Raditz was a lot stronger as he also wanted to join them inside their training session and he managed to get stronger with Nappa. Vegeta had a son who was 7 years old and his name was Trunks along with Goku who had a new kid named Goten and he also was born with God Ki just like Gohan. Vegeta, Goku and Broly were in a mission trying to get stronger. One day everyone got together as they made a plan to go and enter the world martial arts tournament and have a battle with each other. Once when they got there, the round was decided as the first round was Raditz vs Nappa, Gohan vs Piccolo, Vegeta vs Frieza, Goku vs Broly. The battle began as Nappa and Raditz were going head to head. From there Raditz went and he used his Super Saiyan 2 power as Nappa tried to transform into his Super Saiyan 1 and he also went Super Saiyan 2 and both their power clashed with one another. But Raditz managed to go and overpower Nappa as he went and he threw him out of the arena and Raditz has won the first round. From there Gohan and Piccolo battle began 
as they were going head to head and Gohan managed to go and use his Super Saiyan God transformation as he went and he knocked Piccolo out of the arena. Vegeta and Frieza's battle began as Frieza looked at him and he said, Hmm, let's do this Vegeta, we'll see who is stronger. Hmm, <laughs> bring it on Frieza, I'll make sure I'll be the one that's stronger, there's no way I'm going to lose. As they started and from there, both of them were powering up and they started to go head to head. Both of the power clashed with one another. Frieza went and he used his power and he managed to kick Vegeta out of the arena. As Vegeta got up and said, No fair! I demand a rematch! <laughs> Sorry Vegeta, but I've won fair and square. The next round began as it was Goku vs Broly. They both stared at each other and from there their battle began. Broly looked at Goku and he said, The last time we fought, you were able to beat me Goku, but this time, I will be the one to win. <laughs> Let's see Brawly, I'm game. As they went and they started to power up and both of the power clashed with one another. Brawly went and he hit him very hard as Goku got up and he used his key pressure and he pushed Brawly aside. Brawly looked at him and he said, Let's go serious! Broly has transformed to a legendary Super Saiyan. Goku went and he rushed at him as Broly kicked him really hard and he started to spit out blood. And both of them were going at it as they were equally tied. Goku was amazed with Broly as they're fighting and from there Broly went and he kicked him really hard as he punched Goku in the face and Goku fell out of the arena. Everyone was completely surprised as they couldn't believe just how powerful Broly was. Uh, what the hell? Broly beating Kakarot? How? My word, Goku's finally been beaten by someone. I'm in really amazed by Broly. Oh my gosh, I saw it but I cannot believe it. As Broly went towards Goku, he smiled and Goku smiled at him and they both shake their hand with one another. Before the next round could begin, someone came as he looked at him and he said, Hmm, I take it you're Goku, right? Huh? Yeah, that's me. By the way, by your key, I could sense you're like some type of god. Hmm, I could say the same here too, Goku. By your key, I could sense you're a deity. Yes, I am. What's up? As he went and he introduced himself. He was the Supreme Kai. As Supreme Kai went and he told Goku everyone about what's going to happen to planet Earth. They couldn't believe what they heard and from there, Supreme Kai looked at him and he said, We need to stop Majin Buu. He is very evil and dangerous and if he ends up beating us, your planet will be doomed. Don't worry Supreme Kai, we can handle this very easily. The Z Fighters agreed to go and stop Majin Buu as they all pinpoint where his Bobby ship was and from there. Vegeta said, leave this to us Kai, we will go and beat him. Supreme Kai decided to go back to his world as he saw Goku was a god and he wanted to see if he can break the Z sword. Goku left with Supreme Kai along with Gohan, leaving everything to the Z fighters to go and handle Majin Buu so that Goku and Gohan can go to Supreme Kai's world and see how everything is. Once when they got to Supreme Kai's world, he then went and showed the Z sword as Gohan went and he managed to pull it off and they were very impressed. From there they tried to test it out as the Z sword broke and the old Kai came out. As he saw both Goku and Gohan and from there he decided to go and release Gohan's potential. After that Goku would be next. Goku sat with Supreme Kai as he was learning a technique called the Kai Kai. While all this was happening, Broly and the rest of the Z fighters managed to go and get where Bobbidi's ship was as they went inside and they fought everyone that was there until they reached Bobbidi. Babri laughed as he didn't want to tell them nothing and from there Vegeta went and he attacked Babri as he decked him in his stomach really hard. All of his guts poured out and he died right there. They decided to go and blow up the entire spaceship as Frieza went and he powered up an attack and he heard someone laugh. When they turned around they saw it was Majin Buu. Frieza went towards him as he went and he attacked him but Majin Buu has regenerated as he went and he started to attack Frieza. Vegeta got really mad. 
as he went and he powered up and he transformed to a Super Saiyan God and he rushed at Majin Buu and he started to beat the shit out of him. Majin Buu didn't stand any chance against Super Saiyan God Vegeta as he got very frustrated and from there he went and he screamed. Evil Buu managed to come out of Majin Buu as he went and he absorbed Majin Buu and from there he has become Super Buu. Vegeta went and he powered up to his full as he started to go and attack Super Buu and he beat the shit out of him. But from there he dropped some of his body parts to the ground as it went towards Vegeta's body and it absorbed him. From there Buu got a huge power boost as Frieza went and he used his golden power and from there Broly went and he used his legendary Super Saiyan and they went and started to attack Majin Buu non-stop. Broly started to beat the shit out of him. While this was happening, Gohan got his potential unlocked as he was ready to go back to Earth and Supreme Kai went and took him there while Goku stayed and it was Goku's turn to get his potential unlocked. Gohan has now arrived as he sensed the power and he rushed towards the battlefield. Broly then went and powered up an attack and he threw it at Majin Buu as Majin Buu got hit and from there he regenerated and he started to bleed a lot. Frieza came from the back and he punched him really hard in his gut as he was bleeding and out of nowhere. Gohan has come as he came and he kicked Super Buu right in the face. Everyone was very surprised to see Gohan as Frieza and Broly noticed a power up inside Gohan. From there Gohan said, leave this to me guys, I want to fight. As he went and he started to beat the shit out of Majin Buu. Super Buu didn't stand a chance against him. But from there Gohan went and he powered up an attack to kill him once and for all. But he decided to use the same tactic that he used against Vegeta. As he dropped some of his body parts and he managed to go and absorb Gohan. Giving him a huge boost to his power. From there he went and he released his power as he charged towards Frieza and he started to beat the shit out of him and he knocked him with just one blow. Broly went and he used his full power as he rushed at him and he started to attack him but Buu dodged all of the attack since he managed to go and absorb Vegeta and even a full power Gohan mystic form giving him a huge boost to his power having two Super Saiyan God inside him. Brawly was attacking Super Buu with everything he's got as he went and he kneed Brawly in the stomach and Brawly puked out blood. Supreme Kai came back to his world, he told Goku everything that happened. From there Goku didn't get his potential unlocked as he stopped it from happening and from there he went and he Kai Kai to planet earth. Thanks to Supreme Kai Goku was able to use the technique called the Kai Kai. Once when he got there he saw what was happening as Brawly didn't stand a chance against Super Buu and from there Frieza got up as he went and started to power up to his full and he stood right next to Brawly and both of them were attacking Super Buu. Goku came and he decked him really hard as Buu fell to the ground and from there he saw Goku and said, I take it you're Goku, it's a pleasure, let me kill you first, hmm, it'll be me that'll kill you buddy. Goku, he's too strong, he absorbed Vegeta and Gohan, we don't stand a chance against him, hmm, leave this to me Brawly. I'll handle it now. You're done, Boo. Mm, you and what army, buddy? I'm sorry, Brawly. I didn't show you this power, but now it's time to use it. Let me show you my full power, Majin Boo. After training for 5 years straight, Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan 3 Rose as his power level went off the chart. What the hell? Goku you bastard! You had this power the whole time but you never used it in our fight! Oh my god! How astonishing Goku! You never cease to impress me! What the hell are you? This. This is a power that goes beyond a Super Saiyan Rose, or you can just call this a Super Saiyan 3 Rose. Buu stared at Goku as he couldn't believe the power that Goku was giving. From there, Goku and Buu went and they charged at one another. Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku went and used his key pressure 
as it went and hit Boo in the face and he started to bleed from his nose. He then got mad as he rushed towards Goku and he started to attack him recklessly. Super Saiyan 3 Goku dodged all of his attack as he couldn't touch Goku at all and from there Goku went and grabbed his arm as he stared at him and he said, mm, you're done Boo, it's time to finish this once and for all. Goku went and kicked Boo in the stomach really hard as he puked out blood and he didn't know what to do. From there he went and started to attack Goku very recklessly as he went and threw every attack he knew to try to kill Goku but Goku dodged every one of those attacks as he couldn't touch him. Frieza and Broly were completely speechless and surprised as they couldn't believe just how powerful Super Saiyan 3 Rose was. Boo went and he punched Goku in the face and he started to attack him non-stop as Goku stood still everyone saw Boo's punches didn't phase Goku at all as he was too strong for him. Super Saiyan 3 Rose power was endless since Goku was a deity he was able to use his power and he kept getting stronger and stronger. From there Goku went and he uppercut Boo and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at him as it killed him very easily. Goku then went and he kai kai to plan dynamic as he went and used their dragon balls and he wished back Gohan and Vegeta as they both revived and from there he came right back to earth. They all saw Goku as they're very happy to see him and from there Vegeta looked at him and he said damn Kakarot damn you just because you're a god it doesn't mean you can be a dick where's your saiyan pride why didn't you do this power against Broly he began his meditation training with you Vegeta while Gohan and everyone was trying to get stronger Goku Broly and Vegeta trained so that they can continue to get stronger and stronger now that they all witnessed Super Saiyan 3 Rose power of Goku they were all very motivated to get the same power as him or at least be close to Goku's level. The earth was in peace while everyone was trying to get stronger. Gohan managed to go and settle down as he married a woman named Videl who he met in high school and from there she was expecting to have a child very soon. Nappa and Raditz joined Goku with their training session as they were trying to get stronger and trying to see if they can also achieve Super Saiyan God like Gohan and Vegeta. While all this was happening, far in a galaxy, a destroyer has now woken from his slumber and said, Wheeze, hmm, yes my lord, it is time for you to finally wake up. I had a prophecy, 50 years ago, I will fight an arch enemy that is a deity and he rivals my power. I wonder if that enemy has come or not. Hmm, I see my lord, well you'll be happy to hear that there's a Saiyan who was born as a deity and from how I was observing him my lord I can say he is the one that will rival you or if anything he will surpass you. What? A Saiyan? How did that happen? I thought I told Frieza to destroy planet Vegeta. How did the Saiyan survive? And speaking of Frieza I want to kill that bastard when I get the chance. Very interesting story my lord. You see these Saiyans are actually the one that survived the blast and now they're all living in planet earth and this Saiyan his name is Goku the one I was telling you about who is a deity and when it comes to Frieza he is also living on earth with Goku Goku's the one that changed him with the dragon ball hmm you wouldn't say Frieza as a good guy <laughs> so I see he is the one I dreamed about huh let's go to earth Whis. I want to see this Saiyan Goku Whis and Beerus has now left to make their way towards planet earth. Back on earth everyone was relaxing as it was Bulma's birthday party. Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Gohan and Frieza just came back from their training as they all went to attend Bulma's birthday. While they were there everyone was enjoying their time eating and celebrating while they're all having a big laughter and playing a game of bingo. Goku sensed a huge power level coming towards earth as he got up and he said hmm this isn't good. Yeah I agree I sense it too dad it's very scary sensing this power. Oh uh, I sense it too but who can this be? He's as strong as you Kakarot. As they all saw Beerus the destroyer has now arrived on earth and he said I came a long way to see you Saiyan deity. Hmm. Who are you and how do you know me? 
Frieza saw Beerus, as he remembered who he was, and from there he said, Beerus? What are you doing here? I mean, why are you here? Hmm, I see you found a new home, Frieza, and you managed to change your ways. But if you ask me, I say that's bullshit. I warned you, alien, to go and destroy the rest of the Saiyans, but you disappoint me. You didn't do it. And now, it's time for you to pay. As Beerus came right in front of Frieza, and he was about to Hakai him. Before Beerus can release his Hakai, he got punched in the face really hard as he saw it was Goku that punched him and from there he fell to the ground. Goku came right next to Frieza as Beerus looked up and he saw Goku, Broly, Vegeta and Gohan came in front of Frieza as Goku said, If you try to hurt my friends again, I will kill you. Now get lost, unless you want to die. <laughs> I remember who you were Beerus and I'm not afraid of you. I'll show you your place. Hmm. Frieza, I must say, you got quite the friends here, huh? It turns out there are people that actually care about you. Ah, oh, shut the hell up, you bastard! I trained this hard so I can protect my friends. These guys right here are the reason why I continue to train. Now it's time for you to die, Lord Beerus. I don't give a shit who you think you are. As Frieza went and he transformed to his golden form. As he went and he rushed towards Beerus and their battle began. Beerus was holding his own against Golden Frieza as he was very impressed with Frieza and he said, Hmm, you're impressive Frieza. There's no doubt you have the power to surpass me. That is if you're very serious on your training. But I can see you've been too busy fooling around. Now it's time for you to die. Beerus went and he punched him in his stomach really hard as Frieza puked up blood and from there he went and he started to beat the shit out of Frieza. Frieza fell to the ground as he got right back up and he rushed towards Beerus. Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God along with Gohan as Broly went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan and they all rushed at Beerus. Beerus was holding his own against him as he went and he choked Gohan and he kicked him in the stomach really hard as he also spat out blood and he fell to the ground. From there he went and he decked Vegeta hard in the face as Vegeta was bleeding and then he went and grabbed Broly and he started to punch him non-stop as he went and threw Broly to the ground. Broly got up as he went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan. As he said, Now, you're going to fight me, Beerus. I told you to leave, but you didn't. Broly went and he rushed at Beerus as he started to attack him. Frieza went and he used 100% of his power as he came to help Broly, and from there, both Broly and Frieza were attacking Beerus non stop. Beerus was being outclassed by them as he went and he used 100% of his power. And he started to attack them back. Beerus then went and punched Frieza in the face as his nose broke and from there he went and grabbed Broly's arm and he twisted it but Broly untwisted his arm and he elbowed Beerus hard in the face as Beerus sped out his tooth and from there him and Broly were going at it. He was very impressed with Broly as he was holding his own against him and from there both of them powered up and they started to attack one another. Broly caught Beerus' fist as he went and he threw Beerus hard to the ground. Beerus got up and he started throwing Hakai Blast at him as it went and it hit him head on and from there Broly fell to the ground as he passed out. Goku came towards him and he said, Look, this has gone far enough. This ends now. Goku has now transformed to his Super Saiyan 3 Rose. As he said, It's over, Lord Beerus. Now, let's see how you fight against me at this level. Hmm, amazing Saiyan. You truly are a special deity. I can sense your power. 
and it's amazing! I want to fight this! Let's see who's stronger, a destroyer or a Saiyan! The true battle of a gods! Goku and Beerus stared at one another, and from there, their battle began. They went and they rushed at each other, as both of the power clashed with one another and from there they were going head to head. Goku was holding his own against Beerus, while Beerus was going all out against Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku. He then went and he started to get stronger as he went and tried to attack Goku, but he saw that Goku's power kept increasing, as Super Saiyan 3 Goku kept getting stronger and stronger, and from there he went, and he kicked Beerus in the face really hard, as he started to bleed and he said, hmm, You're amazing Saiyan, I can really say this is very fun. Hmm, I can say the same about you. Your power is something else, Destroyer, but let's see what you got. We'll see who's the strongest here. Beerus came right in front of Goku, as he kicked him really hard and he started to attack him non-stop. Goku dodged all of his attack as he went and he decked Beerus in the face again, and from there Beerus went and he powered up an attack and he threw it at Goku. Goku went and he used his Kamehameha wave and he dispersed the attack. From there, Goku rushed towards Beerus and he uppercut him really hard as he went sent flying out of space and from there Goku entered transmission right in front of him and he started to attack Beerus non-stop. Beerus was very amazed as he was going 100% and he tried to attack Goku. Goku smiled and said, hmm, You're amazing Beerus, I can see we're equally tied. I believe so Goku, I am using 100% against you. Well, I still have a trick, allow me to show you. My Kaioken! Goku went and he used Kaioken with his Super Saiyan 3 Rose as he rushed at Beerus and he punched him so hard in the face and from there he started to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus had no idea just what he's facing against as he didn't know Goku was this powerful. While Goku was beating the shit out of Beerus, we saw Goku as he was very impressed with Goku and he said, This deity is something else. I would love to get to know him more and train him. Just watching him gets me so excited. I have the urge to go and spar with him myself, but I'm not allowed to do that. Goku then went and he started to elbow Beerus hard in his back, causing Beerus back to be paralyzed and from there he went and he powered up his Kaioken and he went and one shot Beerus hard in the face as he fell to the ground. Goku was completely fatigued as he lost all his powers and from there he lost his Super Saiyan 3 Rose and he went back to his regular base. Goku has now won the battle as Whis couldn't believe it and from there he came to Goku and he said, You're amazing young deity, let me train you. I am Lord Beerus' master. Also, I'm his attendant. What? You're Beerus' master? Yes, I am. And I'll love to be your master too. Come to my world and train with us. Goku was very excited hearing that, as Frieza, Broly, Vegeta, and Gohan came and they asked Whis if they can train him too. Whis said yes, as Beerus woke up and he congratulated Goku and from there he said, You're really something else, Goku. I'll never forget your name. This is a start of amazing friendship. Hmm, <laughs> you got that right Beerus, let's be friends from now on. As both of them shook each other's hand. Goku was now known throughout the multiverse to be the one who beat their own destroyer. As Whis has left with Beerus to his world and from there he told Goku to come and visit them within 5 days. Everyone's very excited as 5 days has passed and from there Goku and the rest of the Z warriors went and they Kai Kai to Beerus' world and their training has begun. Find out what happens in the next episode. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. Everyone has now arrived on Weez's world as they went and their training begun. Since they met Weez until now, they managed to get a lot stronger as 6 months passed since everyone decided to come and train with Weez. Brawly and Frieza managed to go and achieve something called God Key as they were now able to sense godlike power and even tap into God Key, while Vegeta and Gohan went beyond God Key and were able to go Super Saiyan Blue. When it comes to Goku, he has finally found a master who fully understands him and knows how to bring out his inner power while Goku spent day and night training with Whis as he was trying to get a lot more stronger than he was before. Thanks to being an angel, he managed to give Goku a huge boost to his power while everyone else was trying to do everything they can to get stronger so they can protect Earth from any danger.
While that was happening, back on Earth, inside Dr. Duro's lab, a android has now been released from his capsule as it was his time to fulfill his mission and his name was Android 15. As his mission was once when Cell dies, he was supposed to go and use the Dragon Balls to resurrect Cell. From there, he went and he gathered the Dragon Balls as he summoned Shenron and from there, he has wished Cell to be back alive. Hmm? What is wrong, Goku? Hmm, it's nothing. It's just my imagination. Hmm, I see I'm alive again. <laughs> this is just like what we planned, isn't it, 15? Now I can get my revenge. Hmm, but sir, Goku managed to get a lot stronger. He even surpassed that of a destroyer. Well then, 15, looks like I need to train. Thanks for having Frieza Cell inside me and even that wretched Saiyan Goku. I will manage to get a lot stronger within the year. Cell left Earth as he went out and he started to train while one year has passed. Everyone started to get a lot stronger within the year thanks to Whis as Whis looked at Goku and he said, Goku, since you're a deity like us, you could reach your full potential power. That is if you still had your Saiyan tail. Huh? My tail? Oh, Whis is right. Kakarot, our tail gives us the power that we need as a Saiyan. It gives us the full extent power to our heritage. Vegeta is correct, Goku. All the Saiyans should have their tail because that gives them their true power. But you need it the most since you're a deity. Once you have it, it will complete your Saiyan birthright. Darn! I wish I didn't cut it. Hey, wait, I know. Weez, we can use the Dragon Balls and wish for my tail to come back. I guess Planet Namek is the closest one here. Let's go ask Perunga. He could definitely do it. Goku decided to make plans to go with Weez to Planet Namek. But while he was doing that, Cell has finished his training. As he came back to Earth and from there the Z Fighter sensed his power. As Piccolo, Raditz, Nappa and even Tien and Krillin came to help and they made their way towards Cell. Once when they got there, they were very surprised to see Cell as he came back and from there, they were holding him off until Goku and everyone came. Cell decided to go and attack all of them as he was waiting patiently for Goku or even Frieza to arrive to the battlefield. Alright Goku, we'll go wish for your tail, but before we do that, I've been waiting for the right time. It is the right time now to use this room. Let's go inside this room and I'll train you for an hour. This room is where Lord Beerus managed to get a lot stronger too. Since he's a deity like you, you will be able to do the same. Awesome! Okay, let's go do this, then let's wish for my tail. Goku and Whis went inside the room as they began their training, and they were fighting with one another. Once when Goku went inside the room, Supreme Kai came to Beerus' role as he informed everyone what was going on Earth, and from there he went and he took everyone back to Earth except for Goku and Whis as they were training in the room together. Everyone has now arrived on Earth as Cell went and he knocked Nappa out and from there he kicked Raditz really hard as both of them passed out. From there Gohan came and he gave Nappa and Raditz a sense of being. Cell saw they have now arrived as he laughed and he said, where is Goku? It is nice you weakling came but I want to kill that bastard first. Ha! You don't need to worry about Goku, you are going to deal with me. Frieza! Tell me, which bastard brought you back? <laughs> I see you're still as foolish as ever, Frieza. Last time I remember, you died by my hands. Looks like you want to repeat your fate again. Frieza went and he transformed to his golden form as he rushed at Cell and he started to kick his ass. Cell didn't stand a chance against Frieza as he saw he was completely outclassed and from there he went and said, Now, let me use my power! Cell has transformed to his guard form again, as everyone sensed just how powerful he was. From there he went and he decked Frieza very hard, causing him to puke out blood. Cell started to go and beat the shit out of Frieza until Broly came and he punched Cell in the face really hard as Cell's jaw broke and from there Broly went and started to kick his ass as he broke Cell's arm. Cell went and he regenerated as Frieza stood up and he said, Stop Broly! Leave him to me! <laughs> You are too weak, Frieza. This man right here is much stronger than you. Hmm, sure, Frieza. He is all yours. 
How dare you come to my planet and threaten to destroy it, along with the rest of us? I love this planet. This is my home. My friends are what motivates me to continue fighting. Now you're dead, Cell. I'm going to use my true power. Frieza has now transformed to his godly form known as God Frieza. Everyone smiled as they were all witnessing Frieza's new transformation. Now you're dead Cell, I'm gonna make sure this time I kill you. Cell laughed as he went and he rushed towards Frieza, but Frieza dodged all of his attack as he went and he kneed Cell in the stomach really hard, causing him to be in pain and from there Frieza decked him hard in his face as he flew meters away. Cell couldn't believe just how powerful Frieza was as Frieza went right in front of him and he punched him very hard and from there he started to beat the shit out of him. While that was happening, Goku and Whis has now came out of their training chamber as they noticed that Z Fighters wasn't there and from there Goku decided to go to Planet Namek with Whis as he went there and from there he used the Dragon Balls and he wished back his tail. Back on Earth, Frieza was beating the shit out of Cell as he said, I told you you foolish android that you'll die. Now die by my hands, Frieza! As Frieza went and he powered up an attack and he killed Cell. As Cell didn't stand a chance against Frieza and from there he died. Frieza saved the day as he displayed his newfound powers and he managed to kill Cell. Supreme Kai was very happy as he said, You're very amazing Frieza, you saved all of us. It's my pleasure, I'm glad Goku was able to rest for this one. <laughs> Frieza, let's get something straight. Yeah, I'm still stronger than you. <laughs> sure, Vegeta, if that makes you happy. Supreme Kai took everyone back to Beerus' world, where they saw Goku standing there, and from there they told Goku everything. They were surprised to see Goku's tail, and from there Frieza went and he showed Goku his new god power. Goku was very impressed, as Frieza looked at him and he said, After you, Goku, I can probably say I'm the second strongest. What was that? as Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue. Let's see who's stronger Frieza, you or me. Frieza and him went head to head as Frieza decided to go and use his power and he punched Vegeta hard in the face as he started to bleed and he knocked him out. Brawly came and said, I'm still the second strongest behind Goku. Hmm, I'm afraid that's my role Brawly. Then let's see who's stronger. Brawly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue nevertheless. Everyone was very surprised and from there he rushed at Frieza causing their power to clash with one another. Frieza tried to hit Brawly but Brawly was too strong for him as he dodged all of his attack and from there Frieza powered up his fist as both of the fists land with one another and from there Frieza passed out. Brawly managed to stand up as everyone was very amazed with Weez's training and that he managed to get Brawly and Frieza a lot stronger. From there, Jumpa has now arrived as everyone was surprised to see him and from there Vegeta said, What the? Looks like a bigger weird version of Beerus. <laughs> yeah, more like a fat virgin. Hey, show some respect! I'll destroy you where you guys stand! Relax Jumpa. I see you managed to gather the Super Dragon Balls, now give it to me. How's this brother? You want this? Let's fight it out. If I manage to beat your pupils, I get to keep the Super Dragon Ball. <laughs> Alright then, let's see it, it's a challenge Jumpa. From there Jumpa went and he started to fight with them. We said, how about this? Both of you guys work together and fight them. But the whole point is for me to have the Super Dragon Balls Weez. I understand my lord, but this is actually something I want to test out. You and Jumpa versus the mortals, how's that? Hmm, fine. If we win, Jumpa, I get to use Dragon Balls. Frieza and Brawly use their full power, as they both charged at Beerus and Jumpa, but they managed to hold their own, as they worked together as a team and they managed to knock them out. If they were fighting them individually, Frieza or Brawly could have beat them, but because they're both teaming up, they were too strong for them. 
Vegeta tried as he got kicked in the stomach and he passed out. Brawly put up a good fight, but he didn't stand a chance as the power of Beerus and Jumpa was too much. Goku looked at him and he said, Hey, how's this? If I win, I get to have the Super Dragon Balls. And if I lose, it's yours, Jumpa. But Beerus, you have to fight me with everything you got. <laughs> Alright then, I say sounds good, Goku. What do you taste, Jumpa? Fine by me. I'll destroy this guy. Goku smiled and said, <laughs> Let's do this. Why does this person think he can take us? He's not even in our level. Jumpa, don't be so dumb. Sense his power. He's a god like us. Ready? Don't hold anything back. As both of them were staring at Goku and he stared at them back. Their stare was so intense that the entire planet started to shake and from there Beerus and Champa has now powered up as they charged at Goku. Goku went and he used his Super Saiyan 2 Rose as he went and he started to attack them. Beerus went and he kicked Goku really hard as Champa came and he was about to hit him but Goku caught his fist as he turned it around and he kneed Champa in the face. Champa fell down but he got up very quick as he came right in front of Goku. Beerus tried to attack Goku but Goku went and he elbowed him as Beerus flew a couple feet away and from there he went and he began to power up a Hawkeye blast and he threw it at Goku. Goku tried his best to block it as he tried to move past him but they were overpowering Goku as they went and they started to beat the shit out of Goku. How pathetic! You thought you're a god and you could take us? <laughs> you're so weak! As Champa went and he threw a blast at Goku. Goku hold it off. Beerus came and punched him and said, Goku, take this fight seriously. What? What do you mean, brother? You mean he's pretending to be weak? Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Beerus. As Beerus went and he used his attack and he managed to overpower Goku. From there, Jumpa came to help as he threw another attack and both of the attack combined went and hit Goku really hard. He couldn't hold it off and from there, Goku went and he screamed. This is all thanks to you. Fighting you both at once, I discovered I had power inside of me that I didn't realize was there. What? Goku? Your power? It's so high compared to last time! <sighs> what is this? Goku came right in front of Champa. As he went and he decked him so hard in the face as his tooth broke and he fell to the ground, rolling over and from there he passed out. Beerus got a little scared as he looked at Goku and Goku said, Bring it on Beerus. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, you don't scare me, Goku! Beerus charged at Goku, but Goku stared at him and he said, You're next, Beerus! Goku went right in front of him as he headbutted him really hard in the nose as Beerus' nose broke and from there he started to bleed a lot. He then got up and he charged at Goku, but Goku dodged his attack and he kneed Beerus in the stomach as he passed out and he fell to the ground. Goku has now won as he managed to beat two destroyers. Everyone was very shocked as they couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was. Vegeta wanted to regrow his tail too so that he can be equally to Goku or at least try to catch up. Champa and Beerus woke up as they couldn't believe and from there Goku was known to be the strongest in the multiverse as he was the only one to beat two destroyers. Before they can go and give Goku the super dragon balls, Zeno, the king of everything has now arrived on Beerus' world as Beerus got extremely scared along with Whis and Champa and they ran to bow down towards Zeno. Zeno got upset that the destroyers were fighting without him watching and from there he said he wanted to hold a tournament so that he can see everyone fight. Goku loved that idea as he came towards Zeno and he told him that this is an amazing idea and that he would love to be inside this tournament. Zeno liked Goku's attitude and from there he asked him to be his friend and Goku said yes. Everyone was very shocked to see Goku's attitude towards Zeno as both of them shake their hands with one another and from there Zeno has left as he went and took the Super Dragon Balls with him so that they can use it for the tournament. Beerus and Champa were stressing out as they didn't know when the tournament will begin. <laughs> it's okay guys, I'm actually excited. Can you imagine a multiverse full of strong fighters? 
Hmm, let's see which one will be strong enough to challenge me. While all that was happening, in a future timeline, everything was very wrecked and destroyed. There were hardly over 1 billion humans living there. Trunks, the future son of Vegeta, was running away from his life as he was extremely scared and he was trying to stop this evil warrior who went and killed almost everyone that was there. Hey Trunks, you ready? Let's attack him together! It'll be too risky guys, even as a Super Saiyan God we don't stand a chance against him. Trunks, we need you to go back to the present timeline by using the time machine that Boma has made. Goten and I will try our best to live here and slow him down until you go and bring some help. Gohan went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God along with Goten as they both rushed and they started to attack this warrior. The warrior went and he used his Super Saiyan Rose as he said, You guys are pathetic sons. You're an embarrassment to your father. Dad, we'll make you better again no matter what. Trunks managed to go and escape and he went right back to the present timeline. Move aside you weakling. As he went and he knocked Gohan and Goten out and from there he said, mm, I see, Trunks went back to the present timeline huh? Well using this time ring, I'm able to follow him too. <laughs> There's no way you can hide from me Trunks, I will make sure I kill all of you. Trunks has now arrived to the present timeline as he crash landed to Capsule Corp. Boma saw as she didn't know what to do and from there she started to panic. Goku, Vegeta, Broly and Frieza along with Gohan were sparring with each other while Vegeta and Gohan decided to go back to Earth and before they can they got a call for Boma as everyone decided to come back to Earth. Once when they came back, Trunks woke up as he saw Goku and he got very mad but he remembered that it was not black and he told Goku everything that he is from the future and that he's a future son of Vegeta and Boma and that he needed Goku's help as he said some evil fighters came he looks completely like you Goku and he went on a killing spree I don't know why maybe that's you or maybe not but he looks just like you and acts like you what what do you mean someone looks like me killing innocent life Urgh, to think that there's an evil monster out there while they were talking the sky went dark as heavy wind blew and from there Black has now arrived with his time ring as he saw everyone was there and he said hmm so this is where Trunks came huh and look at that I see Goku it's a pleasure meeting you Goku who are you well I'm you Goku but you can call me Black let's go and settle this with our fist Goku flew towards Black as both of them were staring at one another and from there Black went and he used his Super Saiyan Rose. Goku was surprised to see that as he went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose and their battle began. While fighting, Beerus and Whis noticed that Black had a time ring as it was extremely puzzling to them that how did Black get this time ring. Black was holding his own against Goku as they were equally tied but before Black can make his next move, his time ring started to react as he'd been sucked right back to his original timeline. From there he disappeared. Beerus decided to go to Universe 10 to find out what happened as Goku went and he kai kai them to Universe 10. Once when they got there, Beerus went to talk to a Supreme Kai named Goasu as he was surprised to see Goku and that he saw that Goku was also a deity. Goku was wandering around as he saw Zamasu was standing there watering the yards and from there he looked at Goku. Goasu came as he introduced those two to one another and he told Goku that Zamasu was the strongest Supreme Kai. Goku was interested in fighting with Zamasu as Zamasu saw him and he said, Oh wow, a deity is here with Lord Beerus. <laughs> sure, I'll fight you Goku. As Zamasu went and he fought with Goku. He didn't stand a chance against Goku as Goku went and he one shot him to the ground and from there he lost. Zamasu got up as he was really impressed with Goku and he asked him, Hey Goku, can we talk in the corner there? Hmm? Sure, what's up? Listen, you're amazing Goku. I just can't believe how powerful a deity like you are. You know what Goku? I can trust you and I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? With your power and with my mind, we both deities can rule this multiverse. 
and we can do something called Project Zero Mortals. I really hate mortals, and I'm pretty sure you share the same goal as me, Mr. DAT. Goku got mad as he went and he punched Zamasu in the face and he started to bleed. Don't ever talk to me about that shit again. If you do, I will kill you. Goku, let's go. Goku left with Beerus as Zamasu got mad and he said, hmm, Goku, I will make you join me. Goku came back to Earth as Boma managed to go and fix a time machine and from there they made plans for Goku, Broly, Frieza and Trunks along with Vegeta to go back and travel to Trunks' timeline. While they left, Gohan decided to take Nappa and Raditz to Beerus' world as their training with Whis has begun and they were learning how to have God Key. From there, everyone has now arrived to Future Trunks' timeline. Upon their arrival, Goku saw how everything was very destroyed and from there he got very upset seeing that as Future Trunks told him everything and from there Future Gohan and Goten sensed Goku's power as they came and they saw Goku and they got extremely emotional. Goku was even more mad as he promised them that he would go and fix everything. From there Black has arrived as he looked at him and he said, hmm, Welcome to hell Goku, I see you managed to get here yourself. Now let's dance. I'm here to kill you, imposter. Imposter? <laughs> you will be surprised, Goku. As he went and he used his Super Saiyan Rose. Goku went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose and he charged at Black as their battle began. Goku and Black were going at it as Goku went and he used his Kaioken and he started to kick it up a notch. Black went and he also used his Kaioken as Goku caught surprise and from there they heard a voice as it said, That is enough! You promised me Black that we will kill Goku together and destroy this entire Cosmo. They all saw Zamasu as he said, Now, let's kill them what you say. Frieza went and he used his golden power as he rushed at Zamasu and he began to attack him. Zamasu was holding his own as Broly came to help. Goku saw Zamasu and he said, You fiend! How did you get this strong? Black went and he decked Goku hard as he coughed up blood and from there he said, Let me show you something Goku, I have a secret. Black has now transformed to his Super Saiyan 3 Rose as his power was the exact same as Goku. Goku got nervous seeing that as Black said, hmm, now we can fully begin our dance. Let's see who's stronger, you or me. Before their battle began, far back in the timeline, after losing to Goku, Zamasu went and he gathered the Dragon Balls as he used the Super Dragon Balls and from there he said, Make me have Goku be my slave. Make that deity Goku a complete evil and corrupted deity. Make him be my pet and he listens to everything I say. <laughs> so you're Zamasu, huh? Hmm. Now Goku, let's do Project Zero Mortals. I have fully possessed Goku's body and his mind. Someone as powerful as him and with my brilliant mind, Project Zero Mortal has now commenced. So Goku, are you ready to die? What? You can go Super Saiyan 3 too? Hmm, I told you Goku, we are twin. As Black went and he charged at Goku and from there he punched him in his face and he started to attack him non-stop. Goku was surprised to see how powerful he was as Black went and he took Goku's face and he smashed it to the ground as Goku started to bleed and from there he threw him against the wall. Before Goku can react, Black came right in front of him and said, Would you like to know who I am? What do you mean? 
I am you. What are you talking about? You're me. Lord Zamasu used the Dragon Balls and he made me Goku, evil as he can be. And I am also his right hand man. That is right. Huh? After you have embarrassed me, Goku, I decide to go and take your mind and make your heart as black as it can be. You can say thanks to the Dragon Balls, the Super Dragon Balls. I have wished to make you evil and to be my slave, and that this wish can never be undone. And once I became Zamasu's man, I went and showed my loyalty by slaughtering Chi Chi, and your sons managed to escape, but I will kill them after I kill you. You're gonna regret telling me that, Zamasu! Cause now I'm mad. I'm really, really mad! And now it's time to pay! Goku has now transformed to a Super Saiyan 3 Rose. From there, he went and he punched Zamasu in the face very hard as he flew to the ground and he started to attack Black. It's pointless! You and I are both the same! We're equal! I am you but evil! It doesn't mean I forgot to use your power! As Black went and he used his Kaioken, Goku went and used his Kaioken mixing with his Super Saiyan 3 Rose and both of them were tied. It was a battle between two deity. One was pure and the other one was very evil. Zamasu came and he tried to fight but Frieza, Broly, Vegeta and Gohan came right in front of him as they powered up to their full and they started to attack Zamasu causing him to be overpowered by them as he had no idea what to do and from there Black saw that Zamasu was being overpowered by them and he went and sucker punched Goku in the face hard and he went straight to Zamasu. As he went and he decked Broly in the face hard, he kicked Vegeta very hard to the ground and he knocked Frieza down as he looked at Zamasu and he said, I'm here master, what do you want me to do? Let's fuse, let's end him once and for all. I like that master, let's do it. Let's show them why they messed up. As Black and Zamasu now went and they used the Patora airing as they fused to become Merge Zamasu. <laughs> now you guys are dead. You thought you can fight me? All you guys are pathetic. We are the strongest deity to ever exist. Zamasu went and he charged up as Goku came right for him and he said, It's not done yet Zamasu. Let's see what you can do. Goku went and he tried to attack Zamasu, but merge Zamasu was too much for Goku. As he went and he punched Goku hard as he used his attack and it pierced to Goku's stomach and he started to bleed. Goku went and he healed himself as he automatically recovered from his wound and from there he went and he used Kaioken times 20 with his Super Saiyan 3 Rose as he went and charged at Zamasu and both their power clashed with one another. Goku got sucker punched as he got stabbed again and he went and he healed himself causing him to drain a lot of ki. From there Brawly, Frieza, Vegeta got up as they saw what happened and from there Gohan said guys let's go full power let's help my father out. As they all went to their full power and they charged at merge Zamasu and they all began to attack him. Zamasu was too strong after fusing with Black as he went and he overpowered him by using his Kaioken mixed with his power. No one stood a chance against merge Zamasu as he went and he cut Frieza down as Frieza started to bleed a lot and from there he went and punched Broly in the face non-stop. Vegeta threw a final flash but it didn't phase him as he went and he knocked Vegeta cold to the ground. From there Goku went back to his base form as he started to lose energy but he went and powered up to use more ki to recover himself. While he was doing that, Zamasu went and he started to beat the rest of the Z warriors as he looked at Goku and he powered up in a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at him. The wave came and hit Goku straight head on as Goku felt a push and from there his eyes went silver. 
and very bright aura appeared right in front of Goku. Goku has now entered the divine power that all deities try to get, which was the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Zamasu had no idea what Goku was, as Goku himself was surprised to see his power, and from there he went right in front of Zamasu, and he decked him very hard in the face, causing half his face to break out and a lot of blood poured out. Goku went and he started to attack Zamasu, as Zamasu was completely numb and he couldn't move. From there, he went and tried to attack Goku, but Goku dodged all of his attack as if he was moving instantly thanks to his Ultra Instinct. No one had no idea that Goku was using the Autonomous Ultra Instinct as he went and he elbowed Zamasu in the face causing him to flew a couple meters away and from there Goku came right in front of him as he went and he powered up his fist and he charged at Zamasu and attacked him with a new attack called Dragon Fist as he went and he killed Zamasu with it once and for all. Zamasu died as Goku saved the day and everyone couldn't believe the power that Goku was using as he was able to use his new power called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. He then went back to his base form as everyone came back to the present timeline as Goku decided to go and use the Dragon Balls and he summoned Shenron and asked him to bring back everyone that died inside the future timeline. Although it was a very difficult wish, Shenron managed to pull through as Goku saved future Trunks' timeline and from there Trunks and Gohan and Goten all said goodbye to Goku as he hugged Goten and Gohan and he wished them luck and they went right back to the timeline to a time where nothing happened and everyone came back and they were alive. Goku told Beerus everything that happened as he kai kai him to Universe 10 and from there Beerus went and he hakai Zamasu. Once when they came back, everyone's very happy and they relaxed and they started to throw a party because they managed to beat Zamasu and save the future. Goku then went to Whis and he told him about the power as Whis was extremely surprised and happy and told him that he has achieved something called the Ultra Instinct and that he's going to train Goku to master it and use it very well. Couple months passed as Goku's training with Whis non-stop and he was trying to get Ultra Instinct again and master it along with Vegeta, Brawly, Frieza and Gohan and this time they had two additional joining them which was Radis and Nappa. They decided to come and train with Whis so they can also achieve God Key. While Goku was training, out of nowhere he got a call from Zeno as the king of everything wanted to meet with Goku. Goku left to meet him with Whis as Zeno came towards him and he was very happy to see Goku and therefore Goku went and asked him about the tournament. Zeno loved Goku's idea as he also asked him to be his friend and Goku said yes to that too and therefore he said he will now do something called the tournament of power. Yes I can't wait! Thank you Zeno! <laughs> no worries Goku, thank you for reminding me I completely forgot! Hmm very well then, Goku please go back to your universe. I'll come back to you with the details. Awesome! I can't wait! Goku went back as he waited for Dai Shinki to come and from there he came and he told everyone about the Tournament of Power. He then told them that they need 10 fighters and that they're gonna meet each other inside a Tournament of Power and battle it out. As he looked at Goku and he said, Goku, since this tournament is all about surviving and you are a deity but you are not assigned deity, you have no rank, you're just a regular deity, therefore Zeno has allowed you to participate inside the tournament, also because he wants to see you fight. Alright! Hell yes! Please Goku come with me. Beerus, you too. The tournament will begin soon but we need to go to Zeno's world. There's a special announcement that we need to announce for everyone. Goku and Beerus went with Dai Shinken as they came there and they saw all the destroyers were there waiting for them. Once when Goku came, all the destroyers were looking at him with anger and they said, Hmm, so this is the one who planned this. Let's kill this guy if we have a chance. I want to Hakai him. From there, Dai Shiken went and he told them that the winner gets to have the Super Dragon Balls and even have the pleasure training with him. Once when he finished explaining everything, 
Goku looked at an exhibition match tournament as he went inside the tournament to check it out and from there he saw all the destroyers were coming towards him as they are ready to attack Goku. Beerus saw that as he came to aid Goku but Goku told him stay back, they want me, fine. <laughs> Goku has transformed to his Super Saiyan 3, Rosane said, Who wants to get knocked out first? Bring it on! I'll beat the shit out of all you guys. The destroyer came to try to attack Goku, but he managed to go and one shot five destroyers, as Goku was holding his own against him, and from there he went right back to his regular base, as he closed his eyes and he reopened it. As they all saw Goku was inside his autonomous ultra instinct state, as he went and he started to beat the shit out of all the destroyers that were there and he single handedly defeated all of them, as they all fell to the ground and Goku went right back to his base form. Zeno was extremely impressed with Goku and from there they all came back. It was Goku's job to go and re recruit everyone to be inside a tournament as he went and his recruiting has begun. Everyone decided to go and train for 2 weeks so that they can be ready for the tournament of power. Before they are about to go, Whis, Goku, Broly, Frieza, Gohan and Vegeta were all training, trying to get stronger along with Nappa and Raditz. From there Whis looked at Goku and he said, Goku, are you ready to enter the tournament? Especially the tournament of power. Hell yeah I am! But there's something I want you to know. Only we gods know about this. There is a mortal out there Goku. He's from Universe 11. Hmm, what about him? He is very strong. He's been training with his angel for almost 9 years Goku. You only trained with me for hardly a year and a half but he trained for 9 years straight trying to get stronger as he has a very crazy obsession for power. Really? That's amazing! I can't wait to fight him! Hmm, I know you can Goku and I know you'll win. Let's go! As everyone got together and they now went and entered the tournament of power. The fighters for Universe 7 was Piccolo, Android 18, Android 17, Nappa, Radis, Gohan, Vegeta, Frieza, Broly and Goku. As they have now all entered the tournament of power. Everyone has now arrived to the tournament of power. As they saw everyone and from there Goku sensed the strongest fighter as he spotted him and he looked at Jiren. Jiren looked at him and from there the tournament has now begun. Goku was the only deity that was fighting in the tournament as no one else knew that he was a deity and that they didn't stand a chance against him. From there Goku decided to make plans and the plan was Universe 7 would go and knock out some of the fighters while Goku would go and he knock out the strongest one that is there. Nappa, Raditz, Piccolo and Android 18, they all went and they started to eliminate all the fighters that were in Universe 9. Universe 9 fighter didn't stood a chance against them as they went and they used their attack and they managed to knock them all out of the tournament. From there Zeno went and he erased Universe 9 as everyone saw that this was actually the real deal and that this is the survivor of the fittest. You cannot screw up. They all decided to go and take this fight seriously. While everyone was fighting, Goku was waiting in one spot as most people tried to come and attack him but he went and he knocked them very easily. From there he went and he started to meditate as a lot of people saw that he dropped his guard and they tried to move but he managed to knock them out with just his instinct. No one stood a chance against Goku and while he was doing that, Jiren was also doing the same thing as he went inside some deep meditation. While both of them were doing that, Kel from Universe 6 went berserk as she went and she screamed and started to attack everyone that was there. She then went and transformed to her legendary Super Saiyan. Broly saw that as he came towards her and from there he charged at her and he went and punched her so hard as she fell to the ground and she passed out. Hit came and he tried to attack Broly but Gohan saw that as he came right in front of Hit and he went and started to attack him. Hit was surprised to see Gohan and from there both of their battles began. Goku finished his meditation as he decided to go and join the rest and start fighting anyone that comes near his way. 
A lot of fighters came towards Goku as he went and he easily knocked them out of the arena. Universe 3 decided to go and do a fusion as all of them went and they fused to become Anazala. 20 minutes has passed since the tournament of power began and only two universes were eliminated, Universe 9 and Universe 10. Anazala went berserk as he went and he started to attack any warriors that he saw so that his universe will survive the tournament of power. A lot of fighters were scared to fight with Anazala except for Universe 7 fighters as they stepped up and they came to attack him. Nappa, Raditz, Piccolo, Android 17, 18 and even Frieza. They all came to try to fight Anazala as Frieza went and he transformed to his god form and from there they all went and they started to attack Anazala. Anazala was holding his own against them as they went and they all used 100% of the power and they managed to knock him. Frieza charged towards him as he punched him in the chest really hard and from there his crest broke as he fell out of the arena and he got eliminated. Universe 3 got eliminated from the tournament. While all that was happening, Jiren woke up as he finished meditating and he walked towards Goku. As he saw Goku was across from him and from there Jiren decided to go and confront him and fight him once and for all. Goku saw Jiren as he looked at him and he said, hmm, so you're the strongest one here huh? Let's see how strong you are. Goku and Jiren stared at one another. Hmm, Jiren, this is your time to shine. Show the multiverse why you are the strongest. You see this? This Goku may be a deity. What's the big deal? You are the strongest mortal to ever exist. Nine years you spent in my world training with Margarita. Show them why you're worthy to train with her. I want you to crush Goku and eliminate him. Once you do, everyone else will lose the will to fight. I understand my lord, I'll win this. As Goku and Jiren stared at one another and from there their battle began. Goku went and he charged at Jiren. As Jiren went and he threw him to the ground, Goku then decided to go and use most of the attack on him as none of the attack phased Jiren. No matter how much attack Goku threw at him, Jiren managed to go and dodge all of them as he went and he punched Goku hard in his stomach and he spat out blood and he smiled and said, Wow, you're very amazing. Let's see you handle this. Goku has now transformed to his Super Saiyan 2 Rose. As he went and he rushed at Jiren and he started to attack him. But Jiren wasn't phased by it. As he went and he decked Goku hard in his stomach as he felt a big pressure coming towards him and he couldn't breathe. Once when Goku got up, Jiren came right in front of him. As he went and he took Goku's face and he smashed it to the ground and he threw him out of the arena. Goku managed to hold the ledge as he came right back and he used his Kaioken times 30. He then went and charged at Jiren as Jiren looked at him and he used his eye blast and it hit Goku multiple times and he fell to the ground hard. It's not over yet Jiren! Hmm. You are a good fighter but you don't stand a chance against me warrior. Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 40 with his Super Saiyan 2 Rose as he went to attack him but Jiren went and he used his key pressure and he managed to cut Goku as he came right in front of him and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku didn't stand a chance against Jiren as he went and he knocked Goku in the head and Goku fell to the ground hard as he passed out. What the hell? Just what is this mortal? How is he this strong? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> You're a fool Beerus. He is Jiren the Grey, the one that even surpassed his own destroyer. You have no idea who he is. <laughs> you have no idea who Goku is Vermont. Goku still isn't using his full power. Jiren, throw Goku out of the arena! Before Jiren can go towards Goku to throw him out of the arena, Frieza charged at him as he went and he managed to punch Jiren in the back but it didn't phase him. Jiren stared at him and he said, Get lost you she -male. I don't got time to waste on you. What did you call me? As he went and he transformed to its god form. 
From there, Frieza went and he charged at Jiren as he kicked him hard in his stomach and he started to throw key blasts at Jiren non-stop. Frieza without any regard used all of his key as he kept throwing as much blast as he can at Jiren and once when the smoke cleared, Frieza saw Jiren was standing still as he wasn't even scratched from Frieza's blast and he said, hmm, is that all you got? Now it's over! Jiren went and he punched Frieza very hard in the stomach and he uppercut Frieza as Frieza flew to the air and he came right in front of him and he punched him in his back as Frieza's back spine broke and he got eliminated from the arena, causing him to go and land straight out of bounds. Everyone was scared to see just how powerful Jiren was. Piccolo and 17 and 18 came and they tried to attack Jiren. While that was happening, Topo came and he tried to attack Vegeta as Vegeta blocked his attack and from there he went and he punched Topo in the face really hard and he began to overpower him. Topo then went and decided to use his destroyer mode as he tapped into it and from there he went and he punched Vegeta non-stop and started to beat the shit out of him. Vegeta got up as he was really damaged and his Super Saiyan Blue power didn't stand a chance against Topo. From there he remembered Boma, Bola and Trunks as he wants to see a future for all of them and he went and screamed. I'll shatter through my limits, in my own way, on my own terms! Vegeta has transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution as he went and he one shot Topo really hard causing him to go land straight out of bounds and he lost the battle. Before Gohan can fight Hit, Broly came and told him that he will handle Hit as he went and he powered up to his legendary Super Saiyan and he and Hit were going at it. Hit tried to use his time skip but it didn't phase Broly as Broly powered up his fist and he deck Hit in the face very hard as Hit sped out blood and he fell out of the arena. Jumpa gave Khalifa and Cal the Patora earring as they went and defused and they became Kefla. Gohan went towards Kefla as he said, I'll handle this from now on. Let's see what you got. Kefla went and they transformed to a Super Saiyan 2. As Gohan went and he powered up and he transformed himself into a mystic Super Saiyan Blue. And from there, both of them are going at it. Gohan then went and started to overpower Kefla as he went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he threw it at her as it hit her head on and from there she got eliminated. Universe 6 lost all their fighters as Zeno went and destroyed them and now they are eliminated from the universe and even from existence. Broly managed to go and eliminate everyone else that was there from Universe 11 as everyone got eliminated except for Jiren. He was the only one standing. Gohan Vegeta Broly came towards Jiren. As he was dodging all of Piccolo's Android 17 and 18's attack and from there he went and he screamed. Jiren has used 50% of his power. As he went and he attacked Piccolo and 17 really hard, causing him to be eliminated from the tournament. He used his key pressure as it threw Android 18 out. Gohan and Vegeta came and they rushed at Jiren. As he said, hmm, it's pointless, you won't win. Jiren went and took both of their faces and he slammed it together hard as both of them were hurt but from there Broly went and used his legendary Super Saiyan Blue and he charged at Jiren. Jiren went and dodged Broly as he was using 50% of his power and he tried to hold Broly off. Vegeta and Gohan came and they all powered up and they tried to attack Jiren but he managed to hold all of them as he said, No doubt warrior, you're very strong. Shut up, I'm here to eliminate you. Is that so? Well then let's see what you can do. Jiren went and uppercut Broly really hard as he went and kicked Gohan in the guts and Gohan started to bleed. Vegeta tried to attack Jiren but he went and threw him to the ground as Vegeta started to feel pain all over his body. Gohan didn't stand a chance against Jiren as he went and eliminated Gohan and from there Vegeta tried to attack him but he dodged all of Vegeta's attack as he said, You're quite admirable warrior but your time has come to an end. Jiren went and powered up his fist as he punched Vegeta very hard. Vegeta's rib broke as he fell out of the arena and he got eliminated. Jiren then got hit in the guts very hard by Broly as he used 100% of his power. Jiren looked at him and he said, hmm, Congratulations warrior, you managed to land a decisive blow. Now let me return a favor! Jiren went and he punched Broly in the face non-stop. 
Brawly was bleeding a lot as Jaren went and used 70% of his power and he continued to attack Brawly. Brawly tried to attack him back but it didn't face Jaren as Jaren went and said, Now you're done! And he threw Brawly out of the arena and threw an attack at him. Before being eliminated, Brawly said, It's all on you, Goku! As he got eliminated and from there, Goku came right behind Jaren and he punched him in his back really hard. Jaren turned around and he said, mm, You're still here, huh? I'm not done yet! <laughs> now let's settle this once and for all, Jaren! Goku and Jaren rushed at each other as they're going at it and they were equally tied. Goku went and he kicked him really hard as he went and he started to punch him in his face really fast. Jaren got annoyed as he tried to attack Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack as he went and he started to beat the shit out of Jaren. Jaren couldn't believe just how powerful Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku was and from there he went and said, Looks like we're equal warrior. Hmm, what do you mean equal? I still have this! Goku uses Kaioken as he went and he started to attack Jaren even more. Jaren got mad as he was bleeding a lot and from there he said, It's not possible! I cannot lose! I won't accept defeat! Might makes right and might alone! Without strength we have nothing! Jaren has now broke his limit as he went and he used his full power. He then went and charged at Goku as he started to attack him. Super Saiyan 3 Goku got overpowered by Jaren as he went and he used his Kaioken times 20 and he went and hit Jaren hard but it didn't phase him. From there Goku went and he managed to separate himself and he said, You're very strong Jaren. As he went right back to his base form. But I'm actually more stronger. Allow me to show you. My full power! Yes. Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes. Mm. It's astounding! Look at that brilliant form! There can be no doubt! This is the true power! Complete in all its majesty! This is... Autonomous Ultra Instinct! Goku has done the impossible as he has now mastered his Ultra Instinct. Everyone couldn't believe just what they were witnessing as they all saw Goku was reeling the power of Master Ultra Instinct. He was the first deity to master it besides Angel. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. This is amazing. Goku has finally mastered his Ultra Instinct. Hmm, <laughs> why well, I'm not surprised. If anyone can do it, it is him. I'm glad I'm not fighting him. Just sensing this power is scaring me. Now the real battle begins, Jaren. Goku uses key pressure as it went and it cut Jaren and from there he came right in front of him and he slammed Jaren's face to the ground as he began to bleed and he couldn't believe just what power Goku was using. From there he went and he charged up as he started to attack Goku, but Goku kept dodging all of his attack as Jiren couldn't land a single blow towards Goku. Goku was only using 3% against Jiren, while Jiren was using 100% against Goku. From there, Goku went and he stopped Jiren from attacking him as he grabbed his fist and from there he went and he kneed Jiren right in the guts as it caused him to have severe pain and from there Goku went and uppercut him 
as he was sent flying up to the sky, but Goku came right in front of him and he went and decked Jiren in the face as he went and he fell to the ground and he spat out blood. Jiren got up as he was having trouble breathing and from there he said, hmm, You're very strong warrior. <sighs> I don't know how you got this power. I am not like those weakling destroyers. I am far ahead of them. And now, you are fighting a real deity, Jiren. This is the power of a Saiyan God. I'm not done yet. Goku, I'm still standing. I see that. I wish you were in my universe. I would love to train with you every day and get even stronger. Together, you and me would have been amazing. Just think about what power we could have achieved. Goku went and he hit Jiren head on as he was sent flying out of the arena. But from there, Jiren managed to come right back as he used all his power and he came to a charge at Goku. But Goku went and blocked his attack as he grabbed him by his face and he said, It's over Jiren. Looks like our time in the arena is coming to an end. Goku went and he hit Jiren very hard as he was being sent flying out of the arena and this time he was eliminated from the tournament of power. Zeno went and he erased his universe as Goku won the tournament of power thanks to his newfound power, Master Ultra Instinct. Goku was now given the Super Dragon Balls as he went and he used it to wish back all the universes that were destroyed in today's tournament of power. Dai Shinka was very impressed with Goku as he told him, I'll love to train you Goku, you are really amazing. Come train with me young deity. Oh really? <laughs> That'll be amazing, it'll be my absolute pleasure to train with you Dai Shinken. I'm looking forward to it Goku, we can begin our training very soon. Thanks to Goku for making the wish, he managed to bring back all the universes that were destroyed as he was the savior and the hero who won the tournament of power. Everyone came back to the universe except for Goku, as he didn't come back to universe 7 but instead Goku went and he Kai Kai to universe 11. Once when he got there, Jiren saw him as he said, Goku, it is you. I want to say thank you so much for wishing us back. I really can't thank you enough. You know what Jiren? There is one way you can thank me. Come with me. I'm here to take you to come to join me in universe 7. After all, you're the greatest fighter I have ever fought. Together we can achieve unbelievable strength. <clears throat> I would love that, but I don't know. Come on, after all, you did say you owe me, right? If it weren't for me, you would have been dead. Well, I don't want to use this card on you, but... Technically, you have a new opportunity in life. You could come and join me and we could get stronger together, Jaren. I'm the only person that understands you, and you're the only one that could push me beyond my limit. Okay Goku, you have won me over. Let's do it. I'll join and live in Universe 7. Jiren said his goodbye to everyone as they were sad that he was leaving but they were very happy for him to embrace in his new adventure as he has finally met a good true friend who he can trust and that was Goku. From there Goku kai kai him to back to Universe 7. Once when they got there, the Z fighter sensed Jiren's power as they were completely shocked to see him and they were very happy that he was able to be part of the Z fighters. Goku and Jiren trained every day as they went to Beerus world and from there, their training began. Whis was extremely excited to train with Goku and with Jiren as he got a new pupil which was Jiren and he wanted to teach Jiren everything he knew so that Jiren could be as strong as Goku. Beerus tried to fight Jiren but Jiren went and he one shot Beerus to the ground as he decided to train too and from there 8 months has now passed since Goku and Jiren came to universe 7. Thanks to the training, Jiren has got a lot stronger compared to before. Brawly, Vegeta, Frieza and Gohan decided to come and train with them as Goku would go and train and have a sparring match with everyone every day. Thanks to Jiren and Goku for sparring with one another every day they managed to get each other a lot stronger as Jiren loved living in Earth and he really enjoyed the bounty that Earth was providing them and he enjoyed having new friends with him inside his life. One day everyone was meditating at Beerus world as Supreme Kai came there and he was panicking but then when he saw Jiren he was very confused until Beerus told him everything. He was very happy to see that Jiren is not part of the Z fighters as he said, Guys there's something I want to tell you, there's a bad news. There's this evil wizard, his name is Moro. He's in planet Namek as we speak, he's trying to gather the Dragon Balls. 
He's also known as a planet eater, and if he gets his hand on Dragon Ball, it is done. <clears throat> Say no more, Supreme Kai. We will take care of this. Everyone, let's go to Planet Namek. Jiren, Broly, Frieza, Gohan, Goku, and even Vegeta has now gone to Planet Namek. <clears throat> so this is a planet called Planet Namek. It seems so off, especially that power you guys sent it. Moro sends their key as he said, Ooh, it looks like we got quite a guest here. Let's go kill them, boys. Moro's men spread out as they made their way towards Goku and the others. Frieza saw them as he said, I'll handle this one. He went and used his golden form as he went and he attacked all of them. Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue and from there he destroyed all the spaceship that was there so that they could not leave the planet and that the spaceship was ready to depart from planet Namek. Once when that happened, Goku and everyone made their way towards Moro as he saw them and he said, Hmm, I see. You're a deity that I've been sensing. I take it you're Moro, the one who was trying to destroy this planet. I'm not going to let that happen, Moro. Leave this planet now. Ha! Huh. Speak like a man that could do something. You sound very dumb. Hmm, watch your mouth. As Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue. From there, he went and he rushed at Moro as he started to attack him. Moro was overwhelmed by seeing Broly's power. But from there, Frieza went and he used his god form along with Vegeta as he used his Super Saiyan Blue evolution and they all went and they started to beat the shit out of Moro. Gohan came and he powered up a Kamehameha wave as he threw it at him. But Moro managed to go and dodge it as he freed himself and from there he went right towards Gohan and he grabbed him and he started to absorb his ki. Moro got a boost from there as Frieza came and tried to attack him but he went and grabbed Frieza and he started to absorb Frieza's ki. Before he could go take all of Frieza's key, Moro got decked in the face very hard by Jiren. As he looked at him and he said, Hmm, you're a dangerous one, huh? Looks like I'll deal with you now. Hmm, let's see what you can do then. I am not some ordinary warrior. I will crush you. You're not kidding. I can sense just by your power. You are by far the strongest one here. Right after that deity. But no doubt, your key is above me. I am going to go and steal it, so then I could be the strongest in the multiverse. Jiren went and he punched Moro in the face hard, as his tooth broke and from there he started to bleed a lot. Moro got mad as he went and he charged at him, but Goku came and he kicked him in the spine, as Jiren went and uppercut Moro and he began to puke out blood. Moro got up as he saw Goku and Jiren were staring at him. Broly got up as he went and he managed to go power up an eraser cannon and he threw it at Moro. Moro saw that this was his opportunity as he rushed towards him and from there he went and he grabbed Broly's shoulder and he started to absorb his key as he got a huge boost to his power level. Jiren sensed just how powerful he got as he said, Goku, do you sense this goat? We cannot take him lightly. <clears throat> You're right Jiren, he's way too strong right now. We need to go straight to our final form and end him. Goku has now transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct as Jiren went and he used his full power <laughs> and from there he went and he fought Moro head to head. Moro didn't stand a chance against Jiren as his full power is overwhelming him but when he saw that he could absorb Jiren, Goku came right in front of him as he decked him in his face hard and Moro's jaw broke. He then saw that Goku's key was too much as he grabbed Goku's hand and he tried to absorb his key but Master Ultra Rose key was too much for Moro as his body couldn't comprehend what it absorbed and from there Goku went and he kneed him in his guts as Jiren went and powered up an attack and he threw it at Moro and his entire body disintegrated. They managed to go and kill Moro without even breaking a sweat, as everyone has now saved the day and Moro has died. Goku and Jiren went back to their normal base as they were very really relieved that the terror was done. Goku uses Earth's Dragon Ball as he talked to Kami to summon it and to wish for all the Namekians to come back to life that Moro has killed. Once when they came back, Dai Shinken came to Planet Namek 
as he saw Goku and Jiren and he congratulated him and from there he said, You guys are very amazing. Jiren, I would love to welcome you to come and join me. And now Goku, it's time to come join me and do your training. Let's go to my world and continue your guys training. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you, I can't wait. Yes, awesome. Training with Jiren and Dai Shinkin together. Now this is like a dream come true. They all went and they went right back to Dai Shinkin's world while the Z Fires went back to Earth. While all that was happening, far in the universe, a man broke out of his shackles as he was ready to begin his journey. Welcome, Cumber. Now that you have managed to escape from your prison, I would love to offer you to come and join me. And in return, you're allowed to kill some Saiyans. <laughs> Count me in. I can't wait to just destroy them all. <laughs> and I need the universe seed. Don't forget about me. Since you brought me back, Heart and Fu, I am looking forward to killing that Saiyan Goku. Not so fast. He is mine to handle. And if you disagree, I will kill you where you stand. Don't, Don't need to get, get so offensive. offensive. They have now left and made their way towards planet Earth. Before that happened, back in Zeno's palace, Goku and Jiren were doing the most intense training they have ever done in their entire life. Thanks to all the training that Jiren has done, he is able to push himself beyond his limit and Goku was able to do the same. While they were training, Whis came to help his father train Goku and Jiren as it was both Dai Shinkin and Whis training Goku and Jiren. Alright guys, it is time. We are going to continue our intense training inside the hyperbolic time chamber. It's the same chamber as Earth but we angels use that to train ourselves too. We're going to spend only one day which is going to equal at least one year. So let's go and begin our intense training. Sounds really awesome. Yes, let's go do it. Hell yes, I cannot wait. As they went and they entered a chamber and from there their training begun. Back on Earth, Nappa Raditz were now able to go and use Super Saiyan Blue as they were training and Gohan was trying to get a lot stronger too and master his Mystic Blue. Vegeta was at Beerus World training with Beerus as he gotten a lot stronger and now he has now been appointed to be the Universe 7 Destroyer after Beerus. He was Beerus' successor. After that Beerus went and he gave Vegeta Destroyer Key as he went and he taught him how to use the Destroy Mode and how to use Hakai. Frieza and Broly went in their training together. One day has passed as Goku and Jiren has now finished their training for the one year inside the hyperbolic time chamber and both of them came out. Their key has grown very high as Jiren decided to go back to Earth with Whis while Goku decided to go to Supreme Kai's planet. He then went and used Kai Kai as he got there and from there he told old Kai that he wants him to unlock his potential. Goku, I was waiting. You took forever but okay, let's do this. We can unlock your potential and I can see your power has increased big time. Why are you so crazy for power? <laughs> well, you know. You never know who's gonna come and try to kill us. I have to be always prepared. As Goku and Old Kai began their training and he began to go and unleash Goku's potential. While that was happening, back on Earth, Frieza was sparring with Broly while Jiren was meditating and from there he sensed a huge power level coming towards Earth as he said, there's trouble coming guys. What happened Jiren? Hmm, there's about 15 men coming towards here. And out of nowhere, Frieza's spaceship has arrived to Earth as Vegeta and everyone saw and they were very surprised to see that and from there, the door opened and they saw Frieza old empire has come out as all of his men rushed out of the spaceship. Due to Frieza's disappearance, they have gone and appointed a new leader to run the Frieza empire which was now called Cooler's Empire. We have now arrived Lord Cooler and I can see that traitor Frieza. He's standing right in front of me. Well, well, if it isn't my pathetic little brother. C cooler What the hell are you doing here? Get out of my planet or else I'll kill you. I see you guys managed to see each other, huh? This is fun and nice to see you come and join the party, Cooler. This is your chance to prove your loyalty towards me. Kill your brother and his friend. Hmm, I'll do it with pleasure. You know very well how much I hate this foolish brother of mine. Not so fast, Cooler. The Saiyans are mine. If you refuse, I will behead you. 
Oh, I see you have come, Cumber. And of course, have the Sangin. Who wants to fight you? Perfect. All you weakling Saiyans, come at me. I'm here to kill every one of you. Upon Cumber's arrival, the Z fighter sensed his power as they were very nervous and scared since just how powerful he was. What the hell strange? Why do I sense Vermont's power and even the other destroyers? They saw all 11 destroyers had arrived on planet Earth. All of their eyes were red as they were all serving hearts. Zamasu has now arrived on Earth along with Fu as the Z fighters had no idea just who are all these people. Hart came and he said, well then, let the war begin. Because of Fu, he managed to put a spell on the destroyers as he made them be Hart's loyal subject. I am going to go to the other universe and gather the energy for the seed. You guys have fun and kill the rest. Hart left and the war began. The destroyer went and they charged towards them. Listen up guys, Goku will arrive soon, but until then, we need to take care of business. Vegeta, you go and take care of Cooler with Frieza's help. Gohan Nappa Radis, I want you to go install Cumber. Broly, you come with me. We are going to go and knock out the destroyers. Do not kill them. Now let's go! Jerry and Broly went and they rushed towards the destroyer and they started to attack them. Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue, while Jiren went and he powered up to his 50% and he started to attack the destroyer. Beerus came to help as he was fighting Jumpa. Cooler went and he transformed to his fifth form and he said, You're done, Frieza! How pathetic! Is that all you got? Let me show you something cooler! This is Golden Frieza! Frieza went and he punched Cooler in the face really hard, while Vegeta went and he tried to kill all of Cooler's men. He managed to do that. Cooler went and he transformed to his golden form and he said, I have this too, brother. <laughs> I never understood why father had so much liking towards you. Well then die. Cooler went and he started to beat the shit out of Frieza. Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as he went towards Cooler and he decked him in his face really hard. Cooler was holding his own against him as Frieza got up and he said, let me show you something, brother. Gohan went towards Cumber as he charged at him and he started to throw a lot of key blasts at him, but it didn't phase him. Nappa Radis went and they used their Super Saiyan Blue and they charged at Cumber and they attacked him with everything he's got. <laughs> Weakling ants, it's time for you to die. Cumber went and he shined the blood wave as they all sensed that he had God Key and from there he went and he transformed to his golden Uzaru form and he started to crush Gohan along with Nappa and Radis. Jiren went and he knocked out the destroyers down along with Vermont with Broly's help as they all passed out. Jiren managed to go and knock out 7 destroyers while Broly took down 3. Cooler was overpowering Vegeta and Frieza as he went and he threw an attack at them but Frieza went and dodged it and said, Now I'm going to kill you brother! As Vegeta powered up to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution to full power and from there they both charged at Cooler and they started to kick his ass. Frieza went and he decked him in his stomach very hard as all of his guts poured out and from there Vegeta went and he powered up a final flash and he threw it at Cooler causing him to die right there. Goku has now unlocked his potential as he was ready to go back to earth but from there he sensed a danger and he said oh no this isn't good okay i gotta go old kai goku is now kai kai to planet earth as he saw that cumber was attacking everyone and from there goku went and he used a destructive disc and he cut cumber's tail off causing him to go back to his regular base from there he went and he transformed to his super saiyan god Goku was surprised to see Cumber as Cumber looked at him and he said, hmm, I knew about you the whole time. I was waiting for you weakling Saiyan Goku. Alright then, let's do this. <laughs> Go 
Goku went and used his Super Saiyan 3 Rose as he rushed towards Cumber and their battle began. Fu came and he tried to sneak up behind Vegeta and try to kill him, but Jiren went and he caught his fist easily and from there he killed him. Zamasu tried to kill Jiren, but Broly came and he caught Zamasu and he blew a blast right in front of his face as Zamasu died right there. Goku was being overpowered by Cumber as he went and he used his Master Ultra Instinct. And from there he charged at Cumber and they were going head to head. Cumber went and he hit Goku hard but Goku dodged it as he went and he kicked him in his chest causing him to be sent flying meters away. Goku Kai Kai right in front of him and from there he went and punched Cumber in the face but Cumber went and got up as he rushed towards Goku and both of their power clashed with one another. The remaining of Heart's Man came to attack Earth as Jiren went and he powered up in his attack and he managed to kill all of them as everyone who came to Earth died except for Cumber as he was going head to head with Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Cumber went and he started to attack Goku but Goku was dodging it but he noticed that Cumber's speed was getting a lot faster and his fist was getting stronger as he managed to land a decisive blow right in Goku's chest and he threw Goku to the ground. For a deity you're strong but I'm the strongest mortal to ever live, think again buddy as he punched him in his face really hard. Cumber flew meters away as he got up and he started to bleed from his nose. Jiren came right in front of him as he started to attack Cumber non-stop. Cumber went and he headbutt Jiren in the face really hard as he said, Now behold, it's time for me to show you my power. Cumber has transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue full power. As he went and he decked Jiren really hard, from there he went and he grabbed Frieza and smashed his face to the ground. Goku charged at him as he tried to punch him but Cumber went and he punched Goku's ribcage really hard as Goku couldn't breathe and from there he threw him to the ground. Goku healed himself and from there he got up and he saw that Cumber was overpowering everyone big time with his new Super Saiyan Blue. Even for Master Ultra Instinct Goku, he couldn't handle Cumber. Jiren came as he powered up and said, Let's take him together Goku. Wait Jiren, I want to test something. This is my fight, it's between me and Cumber. Now Cumber, let me show you my power. Goku went and he used Kaioken times 20 mixing with his Master Ultra Instinct. As he charged at Cumber and he hit him very hard in the face. Cumber was starting to bleed. As he looked at Goku and he said, What the hell is this? This, this is my Master Ultra Instinct fused with my Kaioken. You still think you can beat me, mortal? It is time for you to die, Cumber. Goku has now gone and he used his Kaioken times 20, mixing with his Master Ultra Instinct, as it was very astonishing for everyone to see. Everyone was watching the battle as they saw him wield such amazing power to fight with Cumber. Cumber went and he tried to attack Goku, but Goku stood still as it didn't phase him at all. From there, Goku looked at him and he said, Is that all? Hmm. If so, you should quit. You don't stand a chance against me. Hmm. We'll see who stand a chance against who. Cumber went and he used 100% of his Super Saiyan Blue power as he managed to go and hit Goku, but Goku got up and he used Kaioken times 30 and he rushed towards Cumber as they were going head to head. But then Goku began to overpower him as he went and he decked Cumber in his arm causing it to break and all the blood sprayed everywhere. Goku then went and he grabbed his mask and he pulled it out of Cumber's face as Cumber was screaming in pain and from there he went and he punched him in his face very hard as his jaw broke and from there he threw him in the air and he powered up a Kamehameha wave. He then went and released it at Cumber as it killed him and it caused his entire body to be disintegrated. Everyone managed to go and kill their enemy that were there and therefore they were all very happy that they finally won and they finished this war before it even started. While celebrating before anything can happen, Hart has arrived on earth as everyone saw him and from there he said, who's ready to die? You finally come out of hiding, let's settle this and end this war once and for all. <laughs> War. 
This war is just about to begin, Goku. I have gathered the energy I need for the universe seed, and thanks for the help from the destroyers, I have managed to get something even more better. It's over, mortal, and especially for you, Saiyan God Goku. Oh, as he went and he transformed to his final form. Everyone sensed his power as it was very overwhelming, and from there everyone got a little nervous. Kneel before me, your new master. <laughs> you punk will never kneel before someone like you! Vegeta went to his destroyer mode as he went and he rushed at hearts and he started to attack him. But he saw it didn't phase him as Vegeta got a little nervous and he went and started to attack him even more. We must all go and help! Goku, Jiren, Gohan, Broly, Frieza, all of them rushed towards Heart as they went and they started to attack him non-stop. Heart went and he started to power up by using more power as there were no match for him and from there he went and he started to attack each and everyone down to the ground. Goku looked at him and he said, It's not over until I say it is Heart! Goku went and he used his Kaioken with his Master Ultra Instinct as he went and he rushed at hearts and he decked him in his face really hard. Jaren went and he used his true power as he came towards heart and he kicked him in his guts. Frieza, Broly, Vegeta all came and they started to overpower heart just a little bit as they were all attacking him non-stop. Heart didn't know just how powerful they were as he smiled and he said, Now it's my turn mortals. He went and he threw them away as he powered up an attack and he went and threw it at them. Goku dispersed the attack as he threw his own Kamehameha wave and it hit Heart, but he saw that Heart has regenerated instantly as he didn't get any damage from Goku's Kamehameha wave. Goku went and he used Kaioken times 50 with his Master Ultra Instinct and he went and he hit Heart really hard. Heart saw that he, this was trouble for him as he went and he showed everyone his true power. Behold guys, it's time for me to use my trump card. Heart managed to go and get the universe seed along with the angel crest. As he went and he implanted both of them within his body and he has now gained the power of an angel along with the power of the universe seed. He went and he one shot Gohan Heart to the ground as he passed out. From there Vegeta and Frieza charged at him. But Hearts went and he took both of their face and he slammed it together and he crushed them to the ground. Jaren came right in front of him as he went and he hurt Heart with everything he's got but it didn't phase him. Brawly came to aid Jaren as both of them were attacking Heart but he was too fast for them. As Heart went and he kneed Brawly in the face very hard and he went and kicked Jaren in the gut as Jaren puked up blood and he punched him in his face causing him to be sent flying away. Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 100 with his Master Ultra Instinct and he rushed at Heart and he kicked him really hard in the face as Heart managed to move only a couple inches away. Goku got worried as he said, even with my Kaioken times 100 with my Master Ultra Instinct, he still managed to hold me off. Just how amazing is this guy? I can't wait to use my full power against him if that's the case. Before Goku can do anything, Hearts came right in front of him as he went and hit Goku in his forehead and it caused Goku to pass out instantly. Heart laughed as he saw everyone was down and from there Whis and Daishiken has now appeared. As Daishiken said, hmm, looks like this guy poses angel seed huh Whis? That means he's one of us. Hmm, you're right father and after all, it is our job to kill those angels that have become evil. You're right Whis. Allow me to do the pleasure by killing this evil angel. Well, if it isn't Dai Shinken, bring it on. I have been waiting for this moment. Dai Shinken came right in front of Heart as he went and he hit him really hard. But Heart went and he managed to hold his own and from there their battle began. Heart and Dai Shinken were going head to head as Heart was trying his best to hold against Dai Shinken and he said, Is this all you got? Come on, show me what the king of all angels can do. You talk a lot for a man who claims to have power. Dai Shiken went and he uppercut Heart in the face really hard as he flew towards him and from there he started to attack him. But Heart went and he used the after image as he came behind Dai Shiken and he stabbed him in the back. Dai Shiken puked out blood as he couldn't believe that he got tricked and therefore Heart looked at him and he said, You pathetic angel. This angel crest I have inside me 
isn't from any ordinary angel. I took this from your most trusted angel after Wheeze. This is your own crest, Dai Shinken. I now have this power, and now you and Zeno will die very soon. Thanks to the power of this universe crest and your angel crest. As he went and threw Dai Shinken to the ground, and Dai Shinken started to bleed a lot. From there, Wheeze came towards Hart as he powered up to his full, and he tried to attack him. But Hart went and he kneed Wheeze in the face, and he punched him really hard. Jaren got up as he was trying to use his full power to attack Hart. Hart looked at him and he said, <laughs> What are you going to do? You want to know something? I was the one that killed your family, Jaren. Jaren heard that as he got so mad hearing this, and from there he went and he was about to attack Hart, but Goku got up. As Dai Shiken looked at him and he said, It's up to you now, Goku. You're the only one that can beat Hart. Do what your master couldn't. I will, master. And Jaren, don't worry, I'll kill him now. Hmm? What are you talking about, Goku? We don't stand a chance against him. I have a final form that I will use, and that is going to end Hearts once and for all. Hearts came towards Goku and he started to attack him. As Goku was getting beat by Heart, but from there Goku went and he summoned the power he needs. As he managed to push Heart away and he said, I see you're very strong, but now let me show you my full power. Dai Shiken went and he used his staff as he shined a blood sway for Goku. Goku saw the blood sway as his heart started to pound very fast and from there he began to transform to his Uzaru form. <laughs> Is this your big plan of ending me? You're pathetic. You're wrong. This is part of the transformation. And now, it's time for me to use my final form. Behold, heart, you are going to die. After training with Dai Shinken and Whis for one year straight inside the hyperbolic time chamber, and after getting his potential unlocked, Goku is now transformed into his final form, called Master Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan Rose God 4, aka Ultimate Saiyan God Rose. What? What is this transformation? This. This is just a power of a Saiyan God. Once he reaches his true potential, or you can call this Ultimate Goku. <laughs> Ultimate Goku? How pathetic. You don't scare me. Why don't you come and show me? Show me just how powerful you are, Heart. Everyone got up as they couldn't believe what they were seeing, as they saw Ultimate Goku was standing there, staring at Heart. Now it's finished. I'm going to end this. Goku went and he used his key pressure as he blew Hearts away and from there he went and came right in front of Hearts face as he powered up his fist and he punched him really hard. Hearts got mad as he came towards Goku and he started to attack him but Goku dodged it instantly and from there he went and he decked Heart in his side causing him to be sent out of space. Goku Kai Kai to where he was and from there their battle began as both of their power clashed with one another. While they're going at it. Goku threw him into a remote planet and they're fighting there, but the planet couldn't handle their energy as the planet went and it got destroyed while Goku and Hearts were fighting and the entire universe, not just the universe but the multiverse was shaking with each blow Goku and Heart land to one another. Goku went and he punched Heart in the face really hard as he grabbed him and he kakai him back to earth and from there he started to beat the shit out of Heart. Heart didn't stand a chance against Goku's new power as he was really surprised and upset and from there he went and he tried to stab Goku as he managed to go and stab him right in the guts. But he saw that Goku has healed his wound instantly as he went towards Heart and he said, You don't stand a chance against me Heart. Let's see you fight me now. You're craving for power? Well here it is. The power that you've been craving for. Hearts got very mad and frustrated that he couldn't touch Goku and from there he went 
and he tried to power up attack so he can destroy the earth. Goku came right in front of him as he went and he punched Heart right in the chest really hard as the crystal crest broke of his and from there Heart began to slow down. Goku looked at him and he said, hmm, It was fun while it lasted, but now your time in earth is done. I'm going to destroy you where you stand, Heart. Amazing. So this is the power of a Saiyan God. If you're this strong, why you kneel towards Zeno? Kill him! Goku went and he powered up his fist as he used his final attack called Omni Dragon Saiyan Fist as a super dragon came out of Goku's fist and it went and destroyed Heart's body into a billion of pieces and from there it erased him from existence. Heart was gone as the universe seed and the angel crest came out of them and therefore Goku has won the battle. Dai Shaken came up to it and he said, You're amazing Goku, I cannot believe it, you managed to go and save the entire multiverse. You are something else, Goku, by far stronger than me too. Oh, thank you, Daishinkin, that means a lot. Zeno has now appeared, as he saw that Goku has taken care of business, and he looked at Goku and he said, You're amazing, Goku. I see you have handled my business, and now, as of today, you are now known as Omni Goku. I present the second Omni King for this universe. What? No way, Zeno, I don't want that, please. I'm happy the way I am. No Goku, trust me. You don't have to do anything. You're just known as the Omni King by title. And there couldn't be anyone more worthy than you, Goku. Everyone went to congratulate Goku in his new position, as they're all very happy and relieved that the war was finally over thanks to their hero, Goku, who managed to go and save the multiverse from Cumber and Heart's wrath. Everyone came back to Earth as they all went to their family and they celebrated and a couple months has passed. Brawly was now married as he had a child and it was a female Saiyan. Goku was very happy for him as he saw that this baby had very high potential. Frieza has also became a dad as he went and he settled down with an earthling woman and therefore he fell in love and had a kid. While Jiren has also found someone and he has now became a father. Everyone was at Beerus' world training with Whis and trying to get stronger and chilling with one another. Goku was training them too, until Ultra Goku has appeared. They were very shocked to see him as Vegeta said, K Kakarot? What? Why are there two of you? Am I missing something, Goku? I am you, Goku. Let's see who is stronger. Okay, if that's what you want, then let's do it. as he transformed to his final form. From there, Ultra Goku and Ultimate Goku went and they exchanged blows with one another as they both looked at each other and they smiled. Ultra Goku went and said, You're amazing Goku, no doubt you're one of us. Us? As Ultra Goku went and he explained to them everything and said, I am you Goku and I'm holding a tournament of Gokus this June. I want all of you guys to be inside there. Gather 10 fighters and I want to see you come there and fight me Goku. We're holding this tournament to see who is the strongest Goku and out of all of us, the winner will be named to be the Omni King of the entire timeline and even multiverse. Oh hell yes! I'm game, I cannot wait! Hmm, I'll love to see you there Goku. See you in June! As he left. And now Goku was extremely excited for the tournament of Goku as he went and he started to prepare for it and he started to train even more so that he can be named the Omni King and be the strongest Goku out of all the Goku that are there. Thank you for watching this what if series and supporting it with me. I really appreciate it my Z fans and I cannot thank you guys enough. I hope you guys really enjoyed and loved this what if series and look forward to the next what if. If this ain't you guys like this video, what I've talked about, please do give me a like, that would be amazing. And if you're enjoying my guild by subscribing, please do so. I'll greatly appreciate it. I'm Goku T23. Have an insane day, my Z fans.